lot of movement speed at this point. You only named Hal and Grabs. The rest oh, the way, I only uh, named myself. Hey Sparky, thank you again for uh, willingly making that little trade with your starting gear. Which? The one that's giving me 17 AC. <laughs> I actually need to take that back. Fair enough. I changed Hold my up. race. Nice. Uh... Because I'm not a Dragonborn anymore. I decided to be a Magma Genasi, which does not get armor class. Oh no, I lost one AC. And I <laughs> However, will I manage? <laughs> Although, technically, I'm at the same exact AC that I was at with my Dragonborn's armor, so. Makes perfect partial sense. But By I the... have two less drag. Hmm. Just gonna make it easier for me. <laughs> I still okay. got a how, do I, how do I turn off my camera for oh right there? Boop. You don't. Boop. But I still got I a forgot. Nah, come on, turn on. Why your are camera. you muted in the? Uh, because it turned on my camera my and I had to. Oh wow. Still my face. We need a bit of your. You know, you need a homey feeling. Uh, whenever you're on vacation. Con, are so. you ready? Wait, what? Join the join the link. Oh, my okay, pass. The roll twenty link. <laughs> I work today. Uh, <laughs> you have to question if you have work Connor, today. I oh. honestly am not sure at this rate. Um, I just put my phone in. Uh, and you questioned that phone. like three minutes before the session starts. <laughs> like, uh, no, I, mean, I, I totally work. forgot the session existed, so I was just on Omegle. <laughs> I a hundred percent work today. Uh, so this might be similar to what happened with Zaddy at the end of the oh, wow. play. Oh wow! Donald and Cuddlefuck is just gonna go limp mid attack. I mean, he, he, I imagine the life just got sucked out of him and it turns into a normal teddy bear. Toy to be story. fair, no. I got a Toy Story. <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> He's gonna look over and be like, "Oh shit, they seen me!" <laughs> and just fall limp. Uh, I have no that's a, and that's after you walk through like a a, a big saloon full of people. Oh shit, they saw me. Hey Connor, send me your character sheet. I want to see him. Hold he, on, him, I'm, they, them. I'm, it, she. Uh, I'm to do he said, I'm just going to hit all the notes. No, no. I, I never said actual, just. I, I never actually said a female one. I said it, I'm she, not, not she, her. her. No, Women no. don't deserve pronouns. You said, I'm recording. Calling oh. 4K, bitch. Oh, <laughs> not not 4K. And I'll fucking say it again. Spectre doesn't have pronouns. I just love the. Let me see. He, she, Wait, they. It. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is Spectre. Why don't you have pronouns now? I don't know. Ask life. Explain. She's. Oh, a, I just realized actually. She's a celestial Sorry, when I was drone. listing off the uh, pronouns oh, yes. for his character, I just realized I forgot some. Uh, Zazem. Um. Zezer, am I missing any others? Uh, I'm going to search Neo pronouns real quick. Jesus oh my Christ. God! Shut up, please. Uh, no, really, please. You make you make my caveman brain go monkey. Hmm. Evolving. Uh, so there's also uh, me, V, no. Spivak. What the fuck? Just mute, just mute, server mute. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I, I'm sorry. I, I find this funnier than I should. If he if he continues, just ban. Just fuck off. No, I just leave. What, but Sparky? Sorry, I just need you to understand that the rest of these actually kind of like make some sense, and there's just S P I V A K. No, no. Not 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 not. None not. Of that makes sense besides he, she, and they. I let maybe me reword it. this. Well, Let no, me reword this. It, it sounds, works. It sounds so like derogatory. I mean, yes, but I would that that's how far it goes. No, I definitely feel you, but it just sounds yeah, so yeah, derogatory yeah, yeah. when you're talking to someone. Mm -hmm. Like you just How is it? it doing? Like what? Yeah, literally, how's it doing? Are you talking about a pet? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> 
Don't look at that, Sparky. Oh, uh, and then you have Don't people who way. use their pronouns like fucking kitten and kitten self, and then what the fuck are you busy with? Like, like nah, that's off, uh, off the fucking rates. Nah. I'm sorry, what's going on? I haven't heard a single thing. I don't know, I wasn't really listening. <laughs> So we're oh, making fun of pronouns. Being sent to Cthulhu by <laughs> what? Wait, what? Hey, hey, it's Friday. No Cthulhu. Oh. No Cthulhu on Friday. Friday, Friday is D and D and Femboys, and oh. then <laughs> Thursday is Cthulhu. Uh, it was no. yesterday? You're too late. No, I like how no, Spectre no. is very like subtly trying to show off the bunny shit. Today's just Cthulhu. <laughs> Evie bunny, same fucking thing. No, no it's not. Are you All high? Right, Yes. I should I not be going it. to work today. Then don't. Call out sick. <laughs> Too late. No, I'd be the only pizza guy, and that's generally a bad idea. <laughs> oh, Working. God. It's a, it's a Friday. I'm single-handedly... Oh, fuck. Uh, have fun. Business. So can we start now? After no. Jack... No. Connor, send me your fucking character You, sheet. You Why? were the one... Your or, or was that Connor who always wanted to start like after it was seven? It's all of us. No, yeah, and then we were like, oh no, it was like someone was trying to fucking I tried to call time. Oh, just so I, it would be. I just and, and, to think. Yeah. Okay, well, I've so got you know what? Like, now we're only starting at seven. I've got three hours left. Please. Working on. And Connor, send me that fucking character sheet before I send you dudes. We only we only start at seven. Delete that whole Thank up. you. Well, by the way, the watch together is running for. If you want to join. Disease, you must honor what you no, said. No, no, Sparky, yeah, I, I had a, uh, I had a better one. Oh, I'll no, stick to my own just, music. I'm just waiting for you to this start. One. I was listening yeah, to Fire. Yeah, stick to your promise, promise, man. Oh yeah. I just wanted. Yeah, to... Connor, send it again, or I won't send you nudes. I just wanted to listen to the calming noises of fire and a river passing by. <laughs> Really? I love the idea in my head that, like, halfway through that video, you just hear someone burned alive. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? The calming sounds of fire. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> to Crayox, those are calming noises. <laughs> yeah. I want to point out, um, your bear race is a lot better than mine. What's yours? It's the same Not race. as good. No, it is, no, it, it is different. I have two Connor has the stuff Connor has the stuffed doll race, I think. I'm the animated teddy bear. Yeah, I, we, I, we both I didn't both know dolls. I had two stuffed creature races. I'm be honest, I think I actually found the mine my own mail. Oh my god. And you also have like an animated armor and a... This is just proof that I just go through the homebrew list and just click add, 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 add. Oh god, this one seems alright. There are like fifteen types of dragonborns, two types of snake with magic hands and like there's three we different snakes. Even better, you see? But the one that can dig, the one that I have for uh, Buck, and then you have Phalange with the 100 hands. Oh, then there's four, because there's one that can fly. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, yeah, I love my uh, plus four, plus, uh, plus four dex, plus two intellect, and then minus two strength, minus four con. Um, this is a fair race. Minus four con? I have a negative one to con right now. Yeah. How the I have a plus fuck? three. Did I you... rolled a 13 and then got the negative four to it, so that leaves my modifier a negative one. Ah, uh, no, that makes sense more. Yeah, because you're just on fucking crack. I'm just really nice with vulnerable to fire. Oh no. No, I'm not. What? Oh, oh, hey, Ample, I'm just checking. You have no issues with my lawful good character that's 3,557 years old. Hey, what? You what, mate? I told you that yesterday. I informed you of his entire character sheet. <laughs> no, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm all right with it, yeah. So, I you forgot know, the, I, the I, until, until Until we're, like, halfway through the session and you pull some bullshit, then I then no, not anymore. But for now, yeah. Um, so I totally forgot <laughs> yeah. to, when I was making this race, to add the resistances. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> He's supposed Thank to you. have fire Thanks. resistance. Fire oh, resistance? God. He's made of I'm, fire! I'm sorry, what? I'm curious as to what your race is. Magma Genasi. 
I'm gonna pretend like I know what that means. Do you know what Genasi are, even? <laughs> Connor? What? Do you know what a Genasi is? I don't think no, he does. It's like an I elemental creature. So, oh, are, we, are we actually gonna sit here and wait for four minutes before we start? Uh, yes. Yeah. Can anyone <laughs> Alright, fuck you, you guys, I'm gonna get food then. The only thing that I, the only thing that I, add you're not in, in four minutes we start. So if you're not back within four minutes, we we're starting without you. And That's why funny. would that matter? I'm usually the last one to fucking do anything, anyways. <laughs> Don't worry, she's sure. Um, All right. So I just added fire resistance to my character. Right, I'll be right back. Love you, anyway. Fuck off. Can anyone share their screen? Oh yeah. No. Uh, well, I could share my screen, but you know. No. <laughs> I've been wanting to, Spectre, I've been wanting to tell you everything about this campaign so far, and then you just, I was like, I hope Spectre is going so I can basically rant the whole fucking story plot to her. Because <laughs> you're the only one I could tell this to, because the rest are Obviously. participating in the campaign. No. Sorry. This is not, this is probably not even going to be a one-shot, this is just a small story, because... We are always so fucking slow with doing everything. Don't you love warm orange juice? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite. No. Gross. It might be that I'm suddenly gone and just won't say anything. Oh, it's all right. It's always a possibility. Sink food. Oh. That's cool. Spectre just certainly gets deported. You what? <laughs> just like poof gone. <laughs> Baladon the sun, Baladon the sun, a straight course. glitch out around. <laughs> He's like, oh, hi, Spectre. You're gone now. I looked at uh, Disease's camera for a second and I thought it was Spectre. <laughs> That's always so confusing that I'm like, uh, -huh, Spectre? And then it's like, uh, -huh. Look what's my hair. It's getting, sl slowly getting worse and worse and worse. It looks like cotton candy. I know, Moss looked at as well, but still, Does it, it, must have Does it taste been... like cotton candy? You should try no. it. No. Eat yes, the it hair. Is. Eat the hair. No, we need, we need to know if it tastes like candy. Eat oh, the right. hair. Nom 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 nom. What would you yeah. rate it out of 10? What flavor is it? Hair flavor. Hair flavor. Yeah, hair flavor. Hair flavor. <laughs> like the, the <laughs> new... Yeah. The new McFlurry <laughs> hair flavor. Hair. Why would you be a McFlurry of all things? Because they have McFlurry flavors in they everything. They've got a Slim Jim. No, I thought Brian just went and got a Twix. A fruit cup. Just a singular <laughs> Twix. That, that's, no, that's such a great food. A Man's like, Man, I got food. I thought it was actual food, not snacks. Well, to be fair, I'm probably... Wait, gonna... life, so. life. What, what, what is that you're drinking? Five, seven up. Also, ah. he's it's the I, only thing he drinks. No, 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 but I think it's confusing that he has a can instead of like one of those two liter bottles. Bro, he's kicking <laughs> water in years. He's restraining himself. For some himself reason, right. my hair is kind of sweet. Oh my god, I can paint the Mona Lisa on that forehead. Yeah, because it's so big. You think yours is bad? Yeah, dude, it's like Ooh. a billboard. Bro, you think yours is bad? Honor, for all everyone here knows, you, your head is a Crusader helmet. Yeah. For all we know, his head oh, is For me, Honor's so his head is just a piece of paper that says Jerusalem. Literally. Jerusalem. For all we know, he doesn't have a face, it's just all forehead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Just one, one giant forehead and Crusader helmet. <laughs> that sounds about right. Jerusalem. Like, no, no. He's like, you ever watch Spy Kids? Yeah. Oh, oh no. His no. head's just like one no. of those thumbs. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let, let, me, let me Google what you mean. Hold up. Spectre, why did me you know instantly people. where that was going? <laughs> I, I really like that. The Spy Kid thumb people. That's why he wears the Crusader helmet over it. He's embarrassed. What the hell is that? Because it's you're a thumb. It's a thumb. Oh, uh... Bro. <laughs> what? Okay. Ten. Hey, Connor. Go. Yeah. Do me a it's favor. Go. Go, on, go on to your character. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Connor yeah. still has to create his character. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, like Make it into uh, fucking Underdark. Where is it? Undergarment. There we go. 
uh, save changes. You you have to add your character token. It's a uh, Woogia Pacipi. Oh, what a bad DM. Wait, what do you mean, what a bad DM? Shut oh, yeah. the fuck I up. Always forget to make At least I'm not the one who fucking fudges six rolls in a row. Ah, fuck off! I, I didn't fudge him. rolls! Called him out! <laughs> How do you make the totems again? Is it <laughs> you're, you're, you're screaming at me, me because it's true. Jerusalem. 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 Ja, ja, oh, he's yes. angry. Sparky got mad because I got six crits in one session. That, that 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 was like a one in three point two million chance that there there was no way that you did that. It's all there's punching. always a chance. Nah. I know, I know you can't see my face, but you know the face I'm making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your face is like nah, man. Fuck off. Bro, who's Pepsi? Not Pepsi. Pepsi. It does look like Pepsi. Pepsi. No, it says Pepsi. I mean, yeah. it's dyslexic. Woogia Pacifi. That's your character. You can edit it and drag in your fucking tokens. Well, I'll, click, I'll, I'll click the wrong image. <laughs> the token. Use the token. Yeah. And change the name. And, uh. Fuck off. Fuck off. You still have to change it as well, Disease. I literally yeah. just said, working on it, fuck off. Cope. Opium. Cope. What opium? Get mad. Ooh, ah, tasty opium. C opioids. Love them. Who no, doesn't like opium? opium. Yeah, I said opioids. A, there was a I, I know what he said, I, and you know what I said. Opium is heroin. Oh, wait, I didn't. Hold on, let me send it to the Shadow Realm. Opium is heroin. <laughs> Poppies. Horse tranquilizer. That's ketamine. Love it. I love ketamine. Yes. I hate Ah, uh, who doesn't? What's bit. wrong with ketamine? It fucking sucks. What's it taste like? You know, from experience, it doesn't taste like anything. You snort it. Oh. No, you're, but you're what if I one white bear now. It, it just happens mostly in the nose. It What's makes it like? you feel like, like, or Numb. personally, it makes me feel like shit. Death. Like literally, I. It, what doesn't make you feel like no, shit? No, Come no. On. This was like. like imagine being. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Argue what doesn't make you feel like you're shit? You're not wrong, but take the feeling of being drunk, multiply it by ten, and take all of the fun out of it. Uh, nah, Ew. that's no fun. I love how I someone you gets only Then you only get the drowsiness? You get, like, like, somebody's response like, after hearing take all the fun out of it was, oh, that's no fun. It is no fun. <laughs> yeah, of course, because you took all the fun out of it. Capitalize. Like, literally, imagine being that, like, spinny feeling of being drunk, and then your body gets really, really heavy, but you can't fall asleep because you're high as shit. Oh, wow. I laid on the ground for two like and a that. half hours, wanting to cry because I couldn't Lord. move. <laughs> wah, wah, my fingers are broken. Wah, be grateful you're still alive. So all I'm hearing right now is when you take this drug, you go through a breakup. Accurate. Oh, yeah. Who was that? Oh, that was Spectre. And, and that is Spectre breaking up with this fucking call. <laughs> she was like, nah. Spectre's on cat. Oh, no. You know, I like the fact she that was on was team ketamine. She's still an hour ahead of me. Yeah, wait. She oh yeah, we'll, we'll start. Uh, so you're all in the town of Olin, uh, where some of, some of you have been here before, others not. Uh, you have uh, Ray. You have been here at least, and Vigil uh, a couple of like a week ago, uh, and you yes. did a quest <laughs> to retrieve a ring. <laughs> so uh together i assume you all met before as a party you uh found a That's quest a note subject. on a on a quest board uh it was from this man called haram lestrade and he uh required your aid with something you are you find yourself at the door of his home it looks very wretched, his home. He's a small home. Uh, what do you do? Well, during that week, I would say that me and Vigil had separated, and I went to go look for Zaddy because the last I saw, she got dragged into a portal to hell. And during that time, I had 
thought, you know, volcanoes are portals to hell. So I took a trip there, I fell in, and a fire genasi saved my life, and to save my life they fused with me. And it began to, like, break my adamantine armor apart and turned me into a magma genasi. But, and during that point, somehow you picked up two fucking teddy bears. Um, on the way back to town, I saw these two, Pudsey and Donald, and um, they seemed to be the first creatures that weren't afraid of me. So I took them under my wing and had them travel with me. I'm in danger. <laughs> ha! I'm in danger! <laughs> uh, Vigil, I imagine you, uh, you stayed in town, or? Yeah, I just stayed in town, yeah, doing this railroading stuff that I could do. Railroading. Railroading imagination of Bambles, eh? <laughs> no, you're not gonna railroad this. I won't let you. No, he's okay. saying you're railroading. As a player, oh. I literally can't. <laughs> by definition, as a player, I cannot railroad. He was saying, like, by you saying, so, oh, did you stay in town, oh. was, like, you sort of railroading, but it's not. You were just asking a question. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I don't I don't move around that much, so I just stayed <laughs> yeah, in town. Yeah, we know. <laughs> he literally just Ouch. stood there the entire... Yeah, I re... <laughs> just just waiting in front of his door, like, oh, wait, are they coming back? <laughs> yeah, no, especially because I can't move that far. So what stereotypical D&D bar are we going to start in? We're not. Uh, so... uh, we're none, gotta you're go... starting in front of the house of Heron Lestrade. Oh, fuck yeah. So, so who's back? Uh, no, <laughs> for his house now. Down. It's just this right now. Okay, so... Would you like me to send you the map that I use for uh, the cabin? What? It's the theater of the long. mind. <laughs> you may oh, use the theater windows? of the mind. What? Yeah, there is one window on the side of the house. Cool. Does it look mildly open? <laughs> nah. Just a pain. It's it, it doesn't open. Oh, it's okay. The, what's the door look like? Cool. Is there like a knocker? Is it just like a? No, it's just like a small wooden door. It's it doesn't look very well made. It's half broken down, but yeah, wretched. Like, right, come on, guys. We have to be very careful about this and take our time to make sure we open and get into this house properly. I can do this. Well, I mean. We so I'm gonna shoot the fucking window. Uh, we literally have a note from the guy, so don't. And I just walk up to the door and gently knock on it. It, it takes a minute, but uh, eventually you uh, hear the door creak open. And you see this old man. He doesn't look very well dressed. His clothes are stinky. He smells. He looks very dirty. And uh, he's just kind of... Walking with his cane. Uh, yeah, walk up and go. Walk up and go. Hey, Hobo, we're looking for the owner of this house. Yeah, yeah, that's me. My name is Haram. And well, and considering he... oh, I am literally magma. I kind of have this natural like brimstone scent coming off of me at all times. So I definitely outsmell his smell. <laughs> <laughs> no, in, in my in my mind, Sparky, you can relate to him on a. Like, I got a question. Is, is the map loaded for y'all? Or is it even a map? No, no, this, it, I don't have a map for his house. It's just right. theater of the mind for right now. Oh, fair enough. It's a smell-off. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, oh, Aaron. Yes. We've seen each other before, walking around town. Um, What is it that you actually need? Uh, well, I need help. There has been uh, someone burgled my house. They took a lot of money from me. I look over at the teddy bear. Which one? Um, it wasn't me this time. Donald. <laughs> it's just... Mm, very well. Do you know who uh, it he... was? Uh, well, uh, I have no clue yet, but I can let you in and I can give you some information and you can look around the crime scene if you want to. Very well. So he, he lets you into his home, he opens the door for you. You see, it's it's very messy and there is not much space, there is just... A table, two chairs, and a really small kitchen. And you see a door to another room, which is not open yet. But you just see, like, some bottles laying on the floor because he doesn't really have any cupboards. Connor, I am and, recording. Uh, Can you not draw Squidward? That's not me. <laughs> what? 
That's disease. <laughs> oh, it was your color. That's why I was confused. Yeah. Oh, to me, that... That wasn't an accident. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it's Connor's color and just go, Oh, all right. Is it my color, though? I'm blue. Oh, that's my color. I thought it was <laughs> the square next to you. Come on, Sparky. Stop drawing dick. <laughs> can we please continue? I'm recording. They can see yeah. my mouth moving. So, uh, he kind of sets you down, but there are only two chairs, so the rest of you is going well, to have to stand. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't take a seat because I'll set his chairs on fire. <laughs> I'm just going to go and hop in Vigil's lap. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, he kind of rummages around and he grabs a, a bottle. It's half opened and he puts it down on the table. Here, he says, here is some wine. I'm sorry I don't have anything fancier. I really don't have any money since my daughter, she's she's sick. I She's at a hospital, but I have to pay them monthly a lot of money. I basically, I sold everything I have. That's why um, I live here in this wreck. That explains a lot. I, I at first I sold my my clothes and everything I had. I sold my old house, even my cutlery and. So what did I you have come a, here to steal? Uh, my savings. I, I sold everything and I work all the time just to make sure she survives. Very and cool. uh, yeah. Um, let me take a quick look around. And I put on like these metal gloves so that I don't burn anything that I touch. And I'm gonna do an investigation. Yeah, he he lets you into the into the other room where the where he stole all the money, and uh, you can roll for your investigation. That's a nat one, baby. Looks like a room. <laughs> So I'm gonna walk in there, and I'm also gonna try to investigate. I'm so worried about <laughs> setting things on fire in this man's house. I'm just like, nope, not here. <laughs> you have entered. You have entered generic room 34. <laughs> I imagine you wouldn't even know this would be his bedroom. <laughs> Don't even see the bedroom. Yeah, can I just yeah. go and like look over at the room that he's in and investigate? Well, while he, he doesn't enter the room, he stays outside, but he lets you in. He's talking to about investigate. me. Oh. Yeah, but also negative perception. Don't worry, I, I'm sure I'll do better. Not by much. Nope. Not by much. <laughs> yeah, you you see some some muddy footprints. That's about it. I also know it's a room. <laughs> you also know it's a room, yes. I try. Uh, so. You may all try. Awesome. Would nature be considered tracking? Uh, awesome. Ooh. He knows I, it's more than a room. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say nature it would helps. be be tracking. Okay. Uh, Pudsy, you uh, you look around and you notice a couple of things. You notice at the door frame some uh, purplish blood, with like a little scrap of cloth uh, on the door frame. Uh, okay. You notice big muddy footprints like bigger than your usual footprints like the size of my and... foot yeah about that yeah okay. and like uh not in -game. no no in -game. and you notice a little bit of weed on the floor which you can see that heron doesn't smoke <laughs> yeah. okay it sounds like he smokes something just not weed <laughs> it's called it's called holy weed. W H O L L Y E. Devil's lettuce. It has it has holes in it. Well, no, there's it's actually a like a, it's a real life it's a real D and D thing. I know I saw it was funny. Yeah, and the one shot it said uh funky tobacco, which I just kind of <laughs> assumed was weed. Yeah, look. Funky tobacco. Yeah, it's called it's forbidden cabbage. It's fine. Forbidden cabbage. Oh, sorry, holly weed. Is Hollywood when you go Hollyweed? Does he inform us of this? Pussy? What? Uh, Honor. Uh, sure, yes. 
Mm. Actually. Well, then I would like to take a nature check and see if I can figure out what these footprints come from. I'd love right. to also make a nature check, see if I know what that blood is. All right. We'll roll for it. That's a lot better. That's much better. Yeah, there we go. Uh, first of all, you can see the the footprints lead uh, outside, of course. And uh, if you want, you can follow them. And uh, you, Donald, you can see that the blood is uh, orcish. Not and so it was definitely a big one. More so than um, where, or more so where than they're going, but like what they're wearing. So like, are they armored boots? Are they like commoner shoes? No shoe. It's just a footprint. Huh? Mm. Very well. And also from the clothes, you can see they're not very, like, fancy clothes. This is definitely someone who needed the money. Well, no one needs All right, guys, money. I figured it out. He robbed himself. There. Insurance, Insurance money. Do you accuse him of this? Do you accuse him of this? So, yes and no. I'm going to look up to, or walk up to him, and I'm just going to kind of, like, hey, buddy, you know, we, we just got to talk. Um, you know, you, you can trust me, right? Um, did you rob your own house? What, why in the world would I rob my own house? I didn't mean to click that. Uh, <laughs> Donald. His feet yes, are, are much smaller than these footprints. And I'm not going to slice him open or anything, but I'm pretty sure he bleeds red. I mean, he could have an accomplice. Why would I... Why would I do such a thing? I need this money for my daughter. If I, if she doesn't get this money, she'll die. You can just have you heard of pity? Shards? If people find out your daughter is sick and they give and they find out you got robbed, they'd give you more money. Come on, I'd do the same thing if I needed money or got sick. That is not how it works around here. I, I have to work and sell everything that I have just to make sure she survives. The house? Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to give you this gold piece. Uh, you put it in your savings, you know, you invest it, find a nice traveling salesman business you like, and, um... Yeah, I can't fucking go with that anymore. I cannot be serious. Uh, Donald, you are not a very good businessman. The second this is all, like, invested into more money, my me and my daughter would have died. Oh. I, I really appreciate the gold coin, but I really can't do anything with it. They need, like, a couple hundred dollars every month. What's a dollar? Coins. <laughs> I mean, what a dollar. Never heard of that. <laughs> hey, uh, a dollar. The currency of the gods. Yes, that's what we call gold coins around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Look them dead in the eyes like the innocent voice. The fuck's a dollar? <laughs> well, um, I know quite a few doctors, and I think you may be getting scammed, but nonetheless, we will help you find this person. All right. Thank you so much. Hang on, actually, wait up. I, I need to for... check one thing. I zone up for six seconds, and the first thing I see is disease. Go up to the camera and say, "Is a dollar?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna look over at our good old paladin man. You have, like, detect poison. Do you have that capability, good sir? To to detect what? What, what is detect poison? poison? No, Illness. I mean, no. Well, you're like I mean, actually, a I don't fucking god know fighter, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, but he's not that skilled. Okay. Do you Damn, have the ability to better. heal people? That he does. Yeah, I, I've seen it. I can heal people. Myself. What if we go try to heal his daughter, and then I can extort him for more money? <laughs> he's standing <laughs> right there. I don't yeah, think you guys don't need understand. To fucking do that. He's basically deaf. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could, I could always try. Sir, could you take us to your daughter? I, I don't think you guys understand. This sickness is not just any sickness. It can't be healed by any cleric or paladin or no, just normal doctor off the street. I'm just going to go like, 
Oh, climb some shit to get up to eye level, put my hand on his shoulder. We'll try. Yeah, it's in, a very, in a very in a very deep intimidating voice, or not. If Sir, uh, with all due respect, how do you know it can't be healed by by that? I'm sure he's it's... tried. <laughs> my daughter, she means everything to me. Do you think I've just like given up and just Yes. Why else yeah. would you be asking for us? If it's an uncurable disease, I need my money back. So what do you want us to do? Go beat the shit out of the doctors trying to save your daughter? No, find the person who stole his money, you idiot bear! Wait, wait, what God, God, why the fuck did you have to pick up this bear? I just, well, you don't... Uh, it, it was just so convincing when I met him the first time. I, just, I didn't it's think he was this dumb. It's a fucking stuffed animal! And he said some good words, so I decided that he could come with us. Oh, so he swooed you. Look how cute he is! I just oh look how cute he is, and I pick him up, and I'm just like, look at him! I just have like, just other than I have like dead, lifeless, beady black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like shoving him in Vigil's face. Look how cute he is! Ah, get the, I'm just, get the I'm fucking thinking, like, dick out my face! What is hap happening to me currently, and look at the old man. How old is your daughter? Oh my god. <laughs> As I'm being smashed into a paladin's face. <laughs> <laughs> she is 14 years old. Same age my owner was when she got raped. In Excuse me. What? Sorry. Just hearing Connor lose his shit in the background. I was trying to keep that serious. It genuinely wasn't funny. That's why I don't know why anybody was laughing. I, I know. Scott. It wasn't supposed to be funny. Connor <laughs> losing his it, shit. Fucking. It's just the way he said it. It's not even. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, why did I say? I'm sorry. I fucking... The entire point of this is I'm trying to always sound happy and cheerful through, like, the most depressing shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just kind of, like, turn him around and look at him like, Well, that was extremely depressing. And I just put him on the ground. Sorry. Do you need any I'll, other I'll information? I'll help you, though. I feel bad for you. Uh, do you know where the orcs are in town? Uh, well, I, you, I'm sure you can follow his footprints that you just found, and otherwise they will probably be at the saloon. Did we tell the old man we found footprints? Uh, he would have seen them himself. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, He's hang on. Not stupid. Are you, and he didn't tell us? <laughs> said, you didn't ask him. He said you can investigate. <laughs> you just... the, he said you can investigate the room. Evan, this is all in there. <laughs> And you didn't ask him, like... Hey, is there anything we should know? Nah. Uh, well, I basically already told you everything I know, and you just looked at the evidence yourself. Do you have, like, a save for, like, where was it hidden? Can you show me exactly where you put the money? He opens, he grabs a box underneath his bed. He unlocks it. The lock is definitely broken off with some force. And he opens it up, and it's, it's now it's an empty box, but there was a lot of money in there. Well, 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 it has it has it it well, we'll get back to you if we find some answers. And I just walk out, ignoring everybody else. Well, how did they know where it was? I I'm just they saying, the more around. this goes on, the more this go on, the more it sounds like he just robbed himself, got someone. Yeah. Your mic cut out. Got someone else to do it for him. But why would he? <laughs> if he's offering he... a if he's offering a reward, why would he do it? Yeah. I okay. Hear me out. Just, uh, probably wrong because D and D isn't that thought ahead. But oh, the motherfucker was trying to come to my house. Yeah, I should probably find that. What? Um. Okay. So in my head, the way this worked is he went. Got some orcs to come rob him through, like, anonymous whatever, right? And is now going to go have us take it so that we can, he can claim anything else that he gets. Or that we find is his. I mean, it, I was thinking of something completely different. I imagine that his daughter would you can You can roll insight if you want to. I would imagine his daughter would know where the box is, right? Or... 
I mean, at this point, canonically, I just trust anybody. I trust two idiotic bears, so... Yeah, I love yeah. this. You just casually picked up two fucking bears along oh, the I mean, road. Wait, can I roll insight? Yeah, you can all roll insight if you want to. Swag, I'm gonna roll um, insight. Hey, I'm gonna send you this. Can that be my animal companion? Swag. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he is uh, telling the truth. Are you sure about that? As far as I can tell. Yep, yep, you are! You yes, you fucking oh, are! That's so low. See, guys, I told Yo, you he was telling the truth. Those who do not believe in their elders only believe in the death of themselves. How old are you exactly? <laughs> He's like 50 years old. Are you talking to me or the old man? You. Oh. <laughs> My mom uh, called me two hours ago. Well, I'm only 23 years old, so... Well, what do you mean, your elders? I'm just gonna go look around like, Come on, kids, let's get going! I point over, youngin. I point over the bear. He's <laughs> 3,000 years old, so I trust what he says. Old man is old, so I trust what he says. He's older. I'm actually not that old, you know? <laughs> Got it, you young buck. Uh, nonetheless... Do you need anything else for me? Uh, well, just in case your daughter doesn't make it, maybe you should tell us where she's located and we'll, we'll see if we can change anything about it. I have a little bit of gold on me and I'm not willing right. just to hand it over, but if I give it to the correct authorities, I don't think it'd be too much of a problem. If, if you... Don't find the money. I you can come back to me and I'll show you where she is. So I actually would really like to know where she is. So I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go and like kind of try to make myself look as big as possible and be like, "Hello, first like, years old ba or young man." Guys, I don't have a location of this clinic because you're not well, you'll supposed figure to go it out, there. Bitch. <laughs> no, just, Fifteen, does right. he kill us? You just want to stand on my shoulders. Easy railing. <laughs> Welcome to D&D, &D, bitch! We're like, not even 30 minutes in. You have to plan for this stuff, huh? You- you tell us there's a sick kid and you didn't expect us to come try to find it? Indeed. Oh my god. I expected well, you to I guess trust roll this against my intimidation to see if he tells us. He doesn't us. have a character sheet. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to be at his house for like five minutes. We've yeah, been here for half yeah, a yeah, fucking hour. You're supposed to be in the other fucking house. He would house tell you the stuff you need to know, and you would find the stuff you need to know, and you would move to your next location. As of note, I've been trying to leave for the last 15 minutes, so. Then let's go. We can stick around a bit longer. I just grab both just the like... bears by their head and walk out. I'm I was gonna like say roll a strength my body. check, but that's not Yay! necessary for the bears. No, that's fine. Oh, fucking um, excuse me. No, 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 you don't have now, to. Now, now, like, he just... might not be able to lift my four pounds. Your four pounds. Oh, is this fine? I'm a very heavy bear. Still roll a strength check with a 22. You pick them up like it's nothing. Can I roll against that? No. Oh. Uh, That'd be really funny. Mine. He just drops through the floor. <laughs> yeah. Like, I got you. Oh. The shit you're carrying is heavier than you are. <laughs> and my maximum carry weight is 480 pounds, so. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely carry him. <laughs> my armor is literally double my weight. I literally just grip both of them by the back of the head and just walk out, like, holding them up over my shoulders, kind of. All right, good luck with your travels. Let me know. How it went. Later, kid. Bye. Now, uh... You just feel like, through his hands. I just kind of, like, turn the bear around, and I, I turn Donald around, I look at him, I go, Now, Donald, you're a ranger, right? And I drop him on the ground. Follow those footprints. Can you at least say please? Now! <laughs> say please. Fine. I just like smack my lips. Just. I just look at him. You should have said please. 
Yeah, you uh, you follow the footsteps and uh, you you look around. It's the muddy slums. It's raining very loudly outside. Uh, and as you walk through the rain, you follow the footsteps back to a, a saloon. It says on the sign, it says the Snake Skull Saloon. I like to imagine oh. that every raindrop that hits me just kind of like off of my skin. You do make a great heat source, though. And uh, Ray and uh, Vigil, you know this saloon. You have been here before. Indeed. Uh, since what you did last time uh, with uh, your other saloon. company, the that's people saloon. don't really like you. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that's their problem. You know, sorry, I just love the fucking accuracy. If you look at that very top left table, I noticed there's one less person than there was last. <laughs> yeah, there's one less person. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, hmm. I, I wonder why. Why is that? He, uh, he killed asked. someone by sucking him off. I'm sorry, you bought. Like, yes, that's that. I had to DM that. Zaddy like, was an interesting character. Yeah. Anyways, I know I look. I'm just gonna walk now, up and like, and I just kick both doors open, as I did the first time. Everyone <laughs> looks at you, like everyone, and they look, they look down upon you. How do I like, add my like, character? They're, they're they all. I don't think they would fully recognize me because even though I'm in the same like shape, you I'm did now just on kick fire. down the door, though. They, they still look down upon you because you're different than them. They're all like half orcs and orcs and uh, think, tiefling. What do you think of me and Connor? Fuck. I'm a bit sorry. <laughs> uh, what do you do? Just stay close to me for a little while. You'll dry off quick. Don't want to set fire though. I'm scared of fire. Well, if you're wet, you hey. can't catch fire. Want to see magic trick? Bitch, I'll drag in your token. Magic. Oh, sick. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks, man. Hey, Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey, guys, can I get next game? Oi, piss off, mate. <laughs> fine, fine. Ray, I just stop you... fucking bothering people. Well, hey, guys, can I get next game? It's the same guys that were playing last time. I really hope he got better. Well, you yeah, better piss off. Better. I'll smash it to bits. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you dare come out kind of hot, my friend. Oh my god! You may uh, all roll for initiative. Yeah. You know what? You guys can just have fun down there. I'm just gonna be sitting at the bar. Actually, I'm not even gonna roll for initiative. I'm gonna roll for... I Who rolled the same right? thing. <laughs> and we right. both forgot to click. Woo! You want to just ask to the turner? There you go. Cool. You didn't say, you didn't put the turn order on. Cool. Shit. <laughs> and I was just I wasn't there even trying to fight, oh, no. so I that uh... I was just telling him not to lay a finger on him. Yeah, but you guys, uh, you pissed him off. <laughs> oh, I asked if I could play the game. I wasn't even there. I shouldn't even roll for initiative. I didn't even do anything. I yeah, just... If you don't want to participate in a fight, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm literally across the bar from everyone. You can roll for initiative and decide what you do on your turn. You don't have to fight them. Uh, I see you also put enough effort in to change the bartender. Uh, yes. This is the owner right, of the place. <laughs> Ample, you're going to make me set this entire bar on fire. I hope you know that. Um, oh, damn yeah, I need to pull something up. Um... Can I? What do you mean, what then? This is your fault? You could have just not said roll initiative. They have a seven <laughs> foot tall giant flaming dragon next to them. I think I'd this walk is, away. This is literally in the adventure it said, if you piss them off more than once, you have to roll for initiative because they will fight you. Well, then that wasn't more than once, but whatever. I'll just You pissed them off fire. like three. You came back to him like two other times. No, I asked him if I could play. He said no. I walked away. And then he said he was going to hurt my friend. Yeah, because you're so, a teddy bear. No, no, friend. they pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> here we are now. So they should run away from a seven foot tall flaming dragon. <laughs> uh, how do I add Vigil to the turn order? Because you didn't click your token. You don't. He doesn't want to be part of it. No, no, but you still can do stuff. Just right click like, on his token. Try to add to it. 
he killed someone, suck me dumb off. I'm sorry, I just can't get away from it. There we go. Nah. And then add the number. There we go. Hmm, blue stomach. I'm gonna try and do this without setting the fucking bar on fire because it's one of my favorite bars in town, so. <clears throat> so. The first, uh. Ruffian. <laughs> Rapscallion. <laughs> no. The, the first Rapscallion. The first fucker. <laughs> he, uh. He's gonna hit you with his sword. I was expecting just, it. Just roll to see if the sword melts. So it makes contact. 14 hit. The 14 does not hit. And he will hit again. Does a nat 20 hit? If you ask me that again, I'm going to set you on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just sent me a text file that's the entirety of Walter White's confession. So that is uh, H piercing damage. Ample. Just a friendly yes. reminder. Um. When you could see our armor classes, asking pisses us off. All right. That does. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. If you're going to do it just to be a dick, go for it. But. <laughs> me. My one told me I'm Let's see. You know, like when you're fighting a little Ray, that is eight. Woman. I already did it. Uh, okay. Then the next ruffian will attack. Or at least try to. Uh... These darn ruffians and rapscallions. And these uh -huh. goddamn ruffians. I'm just curious what's being measured there. So this guy will step up and he will also try to hit you with his sword. That's at 19. I think it hits. Just roll for that is. Yeah, I have my AC right here. All right, that's three piercing damage. And he he says, "You came to the wrong place." You're in the wrong house, fool. Sorry. Okay. okay. So Ray, what do you do? Look, guys, I'm gonna ask you one question. You don't want this fight. So, you walk away now, or you guys walk away with third degree burns. Well, then I know what I'm picking. I'm just gonna pipe up. I prefer the third degree burns. I don't think that's the question. Sorry. Which one are you picking? Fight me. Oh. The Sparky just gave you an option to just end this combat. Give me a dexterity save throw for both of them. They will. And what I was measuring was to see how much shit I'm setting on fire. You're gonna fucking, you're gonna like burn down this tavern. I mean, hang on, is it like... So the one underneath you rolled an 8, and the one to your right rolled a 21. So... He gets set on fire for 10 fire damage. He takes 5 oh, fire one? damage. Yep. So that's 10. Okay, is this what you're he hitting? He takes 5, and everything in that area catches fire. So, like, is it like the area that I'm doing here? Yep. Oh. Congrats, you lit an innocent woman on fire. I gave them a choice. <laughs> what, this woman? Wait. She, she's within the square. She's, she's within the tile. The woman to the right is set on fire, and then... Yes. <laughs> within 15 feet. Are we gonna have to fucking kill everybody in here? Hold on, is there something I can... Uh, is there something like a, a square you can paint or something? Like a... I got you. You can just Gosh, color it. I got it. Yeah. Basically... 15 foot cone for myself. Pretty much everything in that area is fire now. The rock's right. on fire. The table's on fire. 
is there anything that happens when people step into this radius or i mean it's on fire so so they'll take my so, fire damage they're just they're so you fire. know uh connor has a fire vulnerability so do you no i don't we are right, different well, well then don't right, step well. in the fire oh god damn it we're different races we're different bears yeah right, yeah, right. I just this is a wood floor wouldn't the floor be on fire everything yes, in that is. area is on fire i gave them a choice to live You just hear from the background, ooh, pretty. Uh, I don't want that. I warned him before this happened. <laughs> I love the idea of you looking over at us. Thing. <laughs> what the, so this woman would also have to make a dexterity saving throw, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. The tail of the two retarded teddy bears. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Does an 18? Other... Yeah, yeah. that's 16. She still takes half Hey, damage. Sparky, can you uh, check your damage real quick? Uh, that's five damage, right? Yeah. Yes. I can only walk. Yes, you, Did you, use just... your, you use your beast on your turn. You somehow found the way to not answer that question. Is it is it like I can use one or the other or both? No, it's literally you use yours and then your beast goes. Yeah, it's oh, okay. after you. Lovely. It's basically so like your turn? an action. No, that was a bonus action. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then I. Hmm, what do I want to do? Weed. Oh, yeah, but I can't. Uh, I'm going to hand axe this guy. Uh, roll for it. Because that uh, fire ability was... Uh, yes. It might. Eight it might. damage. He, uh, he falls on the ground, defeated. He is uh, dead. And the fire, Vicious and the local fire fucking guns only lasts until whatever it's on burns out. But since this is a carpet, it runs down the carpet, technically. But it never goes away. Well, until like the you carpet literally just burn down, down this building because it, it would be on the floor. Oh, yeah. But, Oops. Or until it burns all the trees outside. Did you just burn down the fucking building? Maybe. He's trying to. I wasn't yeah, trying to. I gave them an option. Put out the fire. Put he out literally the fire. said, I'm going to try not to burn this building. Because it's one of my favorite taverns. Proceeds to burn down the whole building. Like. <laughs> and that's the There was no time. other possible. It's my Which most effective do? move. Burning down a building. I it actually works. Not. All right. Yeah, Connor. Woo. Uh, does that conclude your yes. turn? All right. Pudsy. My turn. Anyway. Uh, Run from the fire. Yeah, that was... That was jump in that, water. That was my game plan. I was just going <laughs> to leg it, to be honest. Uh, I mean, yeah, fair. I mean, do I need to disengage, or...? No. Uh, you, no, you don't have to disengage. Right, You're I'm not in range of anyone. That's all I can move. What? You only have 20 feet? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, he is a small little teddy bear, though. Then you have five more feet. You can go outside. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I'd rather stand in the middle <laughs> of the fire. <laughs> I just stand there. Nah, this is fine. And this as I see fun. that the, the floor is on fire, I'm like, oh shit, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Meanwhile, as you see, uh, all these people who are not like so, these people to the right, so... All these people. They try to doze the flames. And try to put out the fire. Okay. So, Connor, is that your turn? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else I can really do. All right, Donald, what would you like to do? Hang on, let me just check how much movement speed I have. Uh, okay, 60 feet. So. What? I have. I have there is no way you have 60 feet of movement speed. Hold on, let, let, me, let me check his. 
I'll oh. send it to all of you here. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm Sparky I'm, already has it. How do you have? Is that does that come with the race? Yeah, me and no. me and Connor have different races. You guys yes, I know, but <laughs> damn, I'm sixty feet. <laughs> you damn, you fast. Or does that because is that? Do you get that from being a ranger as well? You get an extra Maybe. ten feet. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it okay. would be fifty, which mind you is still stupid. Cool. So I'm gonna. Yeah. I can't make the book. run over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Where is he? Knocked out by a tiny little teddy bear. <laughs> Imagine. Just you get jumped by a teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take my nice good old uh, two, my two short swords, and I can use both of those at once, right, Sparky? I mean, ample. Yes. Uh, if you have the oh yeah, you have the that yeah. I just have two. It's an action and a bonus action. Yeah. Something. Uh, oh, those okay. both hit. Um, oh, you don't say the nat 20 hits? Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, so, uh, roll for damage. You don't say. I, I think I killed this guy. I hope uh, you did. I said roll right, for so damage. This is, being not, this is the normal one, and I, I rolled a 6 out of oh, yeah. the d6. He, he dies, he dies. Uh, how would you well, like to slaughter on. this man? Right, he still has his critical, so it's uh, 14, yeah, excuse me, so that... it's uh, 34, 35 damage. Yeah, is he alive through that? Uh, how would you like to murder this poor fool? I'm gonna jump up on the fucking bar table. Just use the pool little table. amount of fucking... Or not bar table, yeah, pool table. Use the little bit of leg length I have, kick him in the face, and then skewer him. With just what? Him, I'm him. With my uh, dual short with... swords. Skewer him with one, and then oh. go in through his um, lower parts with the other. Oh no. So through the head with one, ass with the other. Well, you oh. literally can't reach. Let me rephrase. Shove my sword in his head, jump off the table, <laughs> and then stick one up his ass. Oh god. And then twist. Mm -mm -mm. Right. And then for the All capybara's right. turn. The capybara's? <laughs> yeah. You, what, what? The capybara. you mean fish? Oh, the oh, of course. Sorry. Um, I oh, had a snake, but I, I oh, never. No. Yeah, yeah, go on. I never got confirmation from. Amble that was okay, so I'm just gonna grab the cappy bar. Yeah, yeah, I said you could use her. Oh, did you? Yeah, you had a I'll snake, right? You. Would you like me to use a snake or the cappy bar? Snake would probably. Which work. which one would you like to use? Cappy bar. Bro, then use the cappy bar. Everyone loves cappy bar. They are cute. There's Coke for that doggy. There's literally therapy sessions around them. Yeah. Uh, so... They're the world's biggest rodents. What? What? Cappy bar. Oh, uh. Yeah, they're hey, rodents. If I quickly send you a picture of a capybara, do you be willing to uh, make a token just so I can actually throw it around? Sure. Uh, yeah, hold up. I have like four of them saved. Um, <laughs> I have like four of them saved. I just look at them sometimes. It makes me happy. Do <laughs> use that one. Trust me. Trust me. Coconut. Oh no, that, that's thing? the one I'm using. <laughs> Convenient. Can you send it to me? Yeah, 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 I was just getting into token form. All right. Um, <laughs> Capybara. Coconut. Hold on, I think I can just add another. As I'm just add screaming at visual, character. get the water! <laughs> I don't have any water! That's somehow hey. If I, if I fucking. Oh, wait, I don't think I got anything. Does the Capybara right? have a name? Red. Chub. <laughs> yes, I'm stealing that from you, Connor. <laughs> wait, what? Right. Oh, I need just for it. Oh, I'm sad. Motherfucker's name is Chub. Red. Or Fred. Red. Red. Dot R. Dot E. Dot D. That is how you spell Fred. Redrick. Frederick the second. Chadrick. Exactly. Just get the thing and I'll, uh. So, Vigil, what are you doing? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. No. Oh, nah, well, it's still, I, I, uh... bro, I still got your friend. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, waiting for I'm, 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 plan, I'm planning. I'm planning. I'm kind of playing a game of Clash real quick. Hold on. Red off over here trying to be the devil and just like, no, no. So go. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn. No, no, no. We, we it's, got it's Red's Red. turn. No. It's Fine. Finish the game of Clash Royale. All right. So I'm playing Clash Royale. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, why are you? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. There, that'll be within this range. 
All right, so Fred's just going to bite at his fucking ankles. Mm, right. facing roll. ankles. Roll for it. The kneecaps. Yeah, I'm looking right for it here. Uh, plus kneecaps four. do be quite scrumptious. <laughs> that's, uh... That's, uh, that will come to a 15. A 15, you say? Yeah, that hits. You roll for damage. Damn, do they just not have AC? It's 1d4 plus 2. Fuck him up, Fred. Alright, he does 4 damage. 4 damage? Yeah. Oh, it's a 1d4 plus 2. Oh, it's... Oh, alright. Yeah, I, I just can't add it through this, because I don't... I'll have oh, to you don't make have a character, a character sheet, for, yeah. sheet for Fred, yeah. Eradicate Fred. Well, I can I can just make a monster sheet for it, so it's not a character. Not yeah, so right now. Not right now. So yeah, yeah. Uh, he, ta he takes four damage as Fred just goes up and like slowly walks up and just kind of gently bites his ankle. He's <laughs> <laughs> just uh, gnawing on it. What is this animal doing? All right, uh, Get off my uh, feet. Uh, uh, <laughs> like eating on his... It's like sucking on his ankle. Just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scrumptious toes. Is that what all Fred does, or? Yeah. It was no kill Fred. <laughs> Rip my boy Fred. <laughs> Yo. Did, did you dash that, or what? No, it's just his walk. Yeah. Oh, the, oh so that's just your walk. Okay. Do you do anything else? I think Capybara is at 40 feet. I wasn't doing it. No, no, I mean Vigil, because he was standing at the <laughs> bar earlier. Oh, we don't care about Vigil. Damn, ow, that shit hurts. I care about Bro, Vigil. come on, it's, it's between longest. you or Fred. No, I care about Vigil more. He's been with me the longest, and he's my healer. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Mainly that I'm last I'm more important part. than you. Uh, yeah. So I imagine you use your movement speed there, from the bar to the... Jokes oh, I'm like wait, that shit, that shit is way too far from my movement. No, nah, just say he started Cause... there. It's fine. Oh, all right then. I got yeah. fucking god, clapped. not another fucking fight where you're over. There. Yeah, because... that's all right. Yeah, let's what just have another fight where I am like across the world. Yeah, yeah. Let's don't do that again. That's why just... I said that. I was like, just let him be there because otherwise it's gonna take forever. Yeah. What do you want to do? Oh my okay. Uh I'll guess I'll use ten of my thirty feet to move closer and just like beat the shit out of this man. I just push him into the fire. Actually, yeah, I'll just push him into the fire. God. But the, the, there are people like tr trying to douse the flames. Like Great opinion. I'm gonna push him into the fire. Alright. <laughs> That's cool. Shove. <laughs> uh shove is just a strength check, I believe. Uh yes. Oh, well, I I roll like... for an unarmed strike. Okay. Oh, you can also punch him if you want to. Punches into Sorry, fire. my my shit's being really slow. I'm gonna have to close the watch together. Oops. I just accidentally closed the fucking. Yeah. Whoops! Accidentally closed. Yes. I just clo accidentally closed Roll Twenty. Nice. <laughs> Best DM. Yes. Quick, guys! Kill everything before he gets back. I'm here. I'm here. Fuck. Huh? Yeah. Two damage. Um. Yup. <laughs> Push him and fire. Please don't tell die. me that kills him. Uh, no, the, tell me he's just the unarmed strike doesn't push him into the fire. Well, I didn't know it was a strength check, so I just did oh, it then, anyway. Oh, then just roll a strength check if you want to do that. Okay. My 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 laptop is being mighty slow today. Uh, today of all reasons. Please roll faster. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, thought he was walking up to push him and just touching his back. I fall instead. <laughs> no, there'd be a that one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a seven, and then we'll be... Contested strength. Oh, yup, you, you push him. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah! <laughs> Doesn't take much to push him over, he's not that strong. Uh, Into the hellfire you go. Sparky, if I may ask, what uh, do I have to roll for that? Oh, a deck save, okay. No, uh, well, yeah. Or that, um, yeah. The deck save is for me actually blasting it off. It's the fire damage is 2d8. Oh, so he just takes the 13 I mean, you could damage. do the deck save to see if he doesn't, if he can roll out of it before he takes, a, before yeah. he takes the full, full amount. Nope. 
he falls into the flames yeah. and you slowly see him burn to death. Oops. <gasps> As the other patrons of the tavern uh, douse the flames, you hear this I start woman. like stomping on the fire trying to put it out. Like, no, this is my favorite place! That would literally just make the fire brighter. No, I have steel boots on. Anyone punch uh, it? Oh, Christ. I gotta make sure I don't. Like, no, I make no, sure there's I, more. I don't Keeps set people on fire, fire just by touching them. That's why I put the As, gloves yeah, on. Yeah, so you have steel stuff to make the steel fucking incredibly hot. Yeah, but they don't catch fire. Yeah, but it's yeah, like it's you'll still get third degree steering. burns touching it. Oh. Just he'll pet a dog. Yeah. He'll pet a dog, and it just burns like. <laughs> Is this yeah, guy sure. still alive? <laughs> nope. Oh. I don't think any of them. Are. You you killed them. Oh. I I could I'm, use my water gonna, like, skin on it and try to. I'm gonna look over at the uh, uh, bartender and just go. Sorry. Well, actually, before you do that, uh, she claps, she slow claps in her hands, and then she she says, "Well done, well done. You can accept these people as friends now." Uh, looking towards all the other patrons. You're welcome in my bar now. Is there anything you'd like? Uh, well, I was welcome here before, but the roast pig would be really freaking nice right now. I don't have a digestive tract. I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got so sad so fast. <laughs> uh, that will be ten gold. What? Roast pigs are expensive. Sir. I was just here last week, and it was only five. Inflation. Shut up! <laughs> just scream Sorry. across the bar. <laughs> well, yeah, someone just ate a bunch of roast pigs, dumbass. Yeah, we're, we only have one left, actually. There was this other guy, this uh, this dragonborn. He uh, ate a lot of them. Uh, definitely... hey, that sounds a lot like you. Shut! Don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, it kind of it's kind of weird how you both resemble, you know, the same person. <clears throat> And how your voice hasn't changed. Yeah, it's weird. It just sounds like burnt. Fine, <laughs> fine. I just throw ten gold on the counter. She uh gives you a fully roasted pig. You know the moves. Hey, don't the, 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 the cat with of course with the carrots. I just unlatch my jaw, side. pick up the entire roast pig, and oh. Mm -mm, One mm. bite. You. I just let oh. out a mighty just. Uh, uh. That was mighty. Eh, I, I got stuck. It was supposed to be a lot bigger than that, but it really. Now there's an air bubble in my throat. She isn't phased by it. <laughs> oh, God. This is uncomfortable. Hold up. IRL. Oh, jeez. You alright? God, you ate an IRL. No, no. Anyone up that game of pool now? Like, for real. I actually had an air bubble stuck in my throat, because I, I know how to make myself burp. Yeah. But it got that stuck. Hurt. <laughs> nice. Oh. Completely unrelated, by the way, I spent that entire combat uh, trying to find a flower in a game. Well, um... I still haven't found it. Well, thanks for the pig, but, uh... Looking for somebody very specific, actually. Uh, their foot tracks led back here. Uh, who would that be? Uh, not really sure. Uh, he had pretty dirty clothes, big footprints, no shoes, and might have been bleeding. I mean, you, and she points at all the people in her saloon. It could be any one of those people. And it even could be that they already left. I have no clue who you're talking about. Well, there's this dude. His name's Aaron, and um, he got no. sick, or his daughter's sick, and uh, he got robbed, and we need to find the person who fucking robbed him. I mean, you can ask around, be my guest. I just scream out, everybody line up! <laughs> <laughs> Did they look over at you, and they so continue said. their drinking? I scream louder and roll for intimidation. I said, everybody line up, or I'll actually burn this place down. Uh, 
this man over here says, oh God. All right, all right, you don't have to burn it down. Are you sure Just, about that? If you want to talk to roll us, you can come to our again. table. Look at his roll and try again. <laughs> After hearing no, if, if he if he if he did if he did, then they would have come, came towards him. He's like, "Calm down, mate. If you want to talk to us, just come towards our table." <sighs> okay, okay. Everyone, line up. I need some points then. Fine, fine. I kind of like walk up to the rest of my group, and I I'm like, "Guys, come here." Pudsy, Donald. Fred. What? I got a question. And are either of you two good at getting information out of people? I can try. That did not sound very confident. <laughs> well, it's the best you're gonna get. Donald, you just sound like a sadistic fuck. I mean, no. <clears throat> fine, fine. I'll do I didn't it even say anything. I just see it in those dead beady eyes. I'm sorry, they were expensive. I mean, I can be quite persuasive at times, but... They're made of obsidian. Well, let's split the job then. You go to one table, I'll go over here. Mine are made of plastic. Why am I fighting you on this? My entire flesh is made of obsidian, my guy. <laughs> I was like, just the thought of like old timey and just hearing, my guy. <laughs> my man. <laughs> hey, yo, my main G. <laughs> hey, yo, my fault, G. I made that turn. Yo, my homie. I Yo, coined it homie. you. Just like a little oh. bit of steam comes out of my nose as I walk away. Oh, Ooh, somebody's angry. I just walk up to the first orc at this table and I just slam my hand on the table. Did you do it? Did you do what? You, you robbed him. Robbed who? Heron. Who was Heron? Old man! I, sir, okay, I smoke cigarettes, but I don't rob old people. Alright, fine. I just walk away. Go to the next table. Hey, guys! <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up on top of this one. So who fucking did it? Excuse me? Who did what? <laughs> Let me know or we're gonna have some issues! <laughs> He looks at you very weirdly, like, what is this teddy bear trying to I'm do I'm just gonna, here? like, get on my hands and knees and stare deep into his eyes. Bear Did mode, activate! <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking werebear. Is that, werebear. Is that, like, trying to intimidate or persuade him, or, like... That's a great fucking question. Let's find out. Intimidation. Intimidation. Uh, Fifteen. Do I spook him? Yeah, he's a little spooked. Not too much. He's like, he just like, what? he's a little creeped out by this weird teddy bear. It's those dead beady That's eyes. Is yeah. Is, is he spooked out enough to tell me if he's robbed him or not? Sir, I am honestly, I didn't rob this place you're talking about. Be honest, or the capybara gets it. The, 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 the what? Why? Just, I just That's imagine, your pet. I just imagine the orc going, "What is a fucking capybara?" <laughs> we'll probably know what a capybara is, but he's like, "But that's, sir, that's your pet." Oh yeah. Uh. Our also teddy bear gets it. Hang on, is, is there anything like visibly on the table of his? His drink. Knocks it off like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. I'm gonna pick up the drink and go, That's it! You tell me who you think robbed this house, or I'm gonna drink this drink. You're just kind of look at it, obviously not knowing what alcohol uh, The glass is empty. What? Shut up! Sorry. You, you can drink it. <laughs> I, it. It was on the house anyways. Well, now it's on you! I'm just gonna, like, try to pour it on him and miss. You kind of, as you try, as you try to pour it, you kind of just want to dodge out of the way. Like, yeah, why like, do you? You could have just, drank just that. Scared. I scream from across the bar. Hey, vigil! You ask some people too. 
It'll make this job go a lot faster. I can imagine Vigil's, Vigil's just sitting there trying to hide in the fuck. Nice cut off. Yeah, you're my cut off. Um, yeah, actually, that's probably a good thing. No, I, I said I can imagine Vigil just, like, in the corner hiding. Doesn't want to be a part of this. <laughs> he just got his head down at the bar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> look at where he is. <laughs> um, actually, I just realized, hey, so there's this guy off in the corner. Where? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over. Uh, to the right, you mean? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I'm gonna look over at Pudsy. Hey, let's go fuck the guy in the corner over. Hey, you two. And I walk over to this table. Look, I'm gonna be a little bit nicer at this than I have been since I walked in here. Have you seen a purple blooded, bleeding man with 30 feet and a lot of money? I, I can't I say I have. Feet. Well, you guys are fucking useless. I'm just gonna, like, I'm not gonna say anything to this guy. I'm just gonna start poking him. Hey, will you, will you stop that? What color is your blood? My blood? It's red. Hey, Joe. Prove it. <laughs> Pulls out sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pull I out my fucking long sword. Ruby. Your short sword, I, I mean. I will not cut myself for a little teddy bear. Fine, I'll do it. I'm just gonna like jab his leg just enough to bleed. Not <laughs> like not not enough to hurt him, just enough to make him bleed. Dude, what? You just prick his leg, like <laughs> Yeah. Like you're trying to take sugar from a diabetic person. Yes, literally that exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Ow, that hurt. What what's that for? What color is his blood? Red. Looks can be deceiving. All right, Fred, drink up as I just point towards the blood and start walking away. Okay, we're going to make this investigation a lot easier. Who do you guys think bleeds purple? Please answer one at a time. Well, <laughs> they all sit in silence. <laughs> they all sit in silence. They just look at you. I just, like, hold the camera bar over the head. Who bleeds purple? <laughs> No answer. So I'm going to do a perception check to see if I can see if anybody's injured. Oh, we should have started with that, huh? Yeah, yeah you could have. Stabbing people. Nope. Nice. You hacked into my servers. You don't even know, you don't even know that the that the person they just stabbed is bleeding. You hacked into my servers. Arky, I think this is the fucking D&D Beyond just hates you. No, you hacked into my server. I'm a bad luck charm. Says the guy who earlier rolled like 13 fucking fire damage. That's nothing. My fire damage can do way more than that. Ow. Jeez. Anyway, I'm gonna... So we yeah. just go around stopping people. Hang on. I'm gonna... Can I do a nature check to see if I can recognize if any of these species would bleed purple? Uh, sure. No, no, I cannot. Nope. Oh, it's dumb as a brick. <laughs> All right, who's next? I say you... this guy here. <laughs> this oh, guy, man. the only woman. No, I said this guy. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. <laughs> hey. Hello. I lick your blood. This is pretty much red and boiling. I'm a tiefling. <laughs> Prove it. Prove it. No, no, tieflings actually do. They, they're they usually, like, blue-blooded, so stab him. Got okay. it! <laughs> like, no hesitation, me and him both pull out weapons. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you don't have to stab me. Okay, I'll just punch you. No, no, you don't have to hurt me at all. You gotta start, like, using the little bit of, cl like, plastic claw that I have and just pulling at his, the back of his calf. Okay, okay. I'll get. I'll give you some information if you just Polygon. give me a little money. What color is your blood? If you don't tell us, we'll kill you. <laughs> the super intimidating. <laughs> I'm just like standing over the table. 
He says, all right, all right. For a little money, with five gold coins, I'll tell you everything I know. No, you or we don't us. feed you to the lava monster. Yeah. Cool. You see what that lava monster set a lot over there? He'll do that to you. Uh, lucky. I also <laughs> probably just swallow you whole. He'll kill your family. I'll let the capybara. Are you trying to you persuade to him, Sparky, as or you, trying to intimidate as you him? Feel each and every one of your bones crush under the weight of the capybara's all right. tongue. He loves the flavor. <laughs> all right, all right. All I know is there was a weird bloke up there. He smoked some fancy stuff, and he points up at the balcony above you, and you see this black skinned teethling looking very fancy <gasps> it's an that's all oh. we needed to know I should start right all right a terrible evening y'all go upstairs yeah and as i'm walking away i'm just gonna look back and smile <laughs> no, he he smiles back. no uh vigil you coming with no i'll just say <laughs> Y'all can have he fun wants up there. nothing to do with this. Uh, I want nothing to do with all the harassment y'all are doing. Super glad I've had a few run-ins with uh, tieflings. I've seen their blood quite a few times. That's a nice token. Barky, I feel like you got it for him. Oof. No, that one? No, I did not. Uh. Alright, anyway. So this tiefling uh, looks at you from across the balcony. Can I roll a he check? says, "Yeah, uh, like, can we sure. Hide? <laughs> you want to roll stuff? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey no, can he I was roll? Gonna, he was gonna welcome you, but sure. Dude, my dice else? got stuck on the corner of my screen. <laughs> uh, okay, so can I make a stealth check separate to his, preferably with advantage, because I am fucking tiny. I have advantage." Like, why would you have advantage if you is tell me why you would have advantage sure i i can hide behind the, okay, the fucking so tables i'm calling bullshit on that roll because it said 15 got stuck in the corner of the screen and then just gave me a nat one let him re-roll it fuck this Sparky, game. out of uh, out of pity i'll give you an inspiration nope. fuck this game <laughs> i just walk up yeah. to him hello there and I look him up and down. Perception check. Sure. What the fuck? Maybe change your dice around. I've you changed them booty three cheeks. times. Don't call me booty cheeks. Or or, I am or, or, God. or restart your <laughs> uh D and D Beyond. It's fucking bullshit. Fucking booty cheeks. Your booty cheeks. I'm I, I got nice booty pod. cheeks. Hey, what? <laughs> oh, you see, I'm going to use intimidation tactics, and I'm going to get just way in his personal space. All right. Like, I'm, I'm like borderline hugging his leg. You know, he invited you to sit at his table. I'm, I'm aware. No, no, no. And I'm going to move the fucking chair just so I'm basically in his lap. All right. <laughs> he is underneath the table as he is smoking his uh weed he rolls another joint and he is laughing manically hey man what color do you bleed bro <laughs> what's that for kind of question conversation starter isn't it yeah i mean you, know, you always gotta pick something random to start oh, right i don't bleed. yeah i heard yeah. you guys were looking for uh an orc How'd you hear that? We were downstairs. They have very good ears. Oh, right. And, and then he and then he, he laughs again. And, and our seven foot tall fire monster screamed it. Right, forgot about that part. And he, he puts out his hand and he says, the name's Bandit. Well, that's not Well, that's an oddly suspicious thing. <laughs> <laughs> but most people call me laughter. Look, hey, I'm not an idiot. You? I know you have some kind of spell to make you transform. It's gotta be the fact. Because I can do the same fucking thing. And I activate my disguise self, which I can just cast at will because of my tattoos. Right. I'm just slumped down and in the corner. What does it look like? So, like, these black tattoos kind of, like, wrap around my entire body, and I transform into an orc. The very fancy magic there. And then I snap my fingers and I transform back. So, we all know you did it. Just give back the gold to the old man. He didn't do nothing to you. 
One second, let me check first. I'm just gonna prick his leg. Well, I do know the person who you were talking about. I didn't rob the house myself, but I know who you're after. For some gold, I'll lead you right to him. No, you'll do it for free. I'll hand him in myself. For 25 free. gold. For free! I grab him by the throat, and I hang him over the balcony. For free. That is yeah, not... that... Sorry, I, I love... For a second there, I thought that... Situation. Uh, <laughs> like, grab by the so, throat. So, you want to do for free, please? Sparky, roll strength and intimidation. We're just free. Four oh, now. No. Uh, there, bro. You're di You must be something broken. So I'm rolling, no, roll, on, yeah, roll like three no, other dice, nope, just I'll random. I'm going to get my real dice. I'm done with this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I Man, agree with him. He just fucking kicks him up too. and drops him. him. Hey, if he, if he shows his camera, I'll let him roll his real dice. I don't care. Oh, damn. He's booty cheeks. Hey, Z, shut the fuck up. Bro, I'm... What, what do you mean? I wasn't even talking about you. Hey, bro. What... What's that in your background? America. Yeah. America. Fuck well, I think yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'll be quiet. Well, you what? Okay then. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah. I can't find my fucking dice. Do you want me to roll for you? No. I have dice. No, I don't. Already. So bullshit. Yeah. Ample, I'm sharing yeah. my screen. All right. If you, there we go. Hey, just I've never used if this before. works, just ignore it. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, you you pull him up and hang him over the balcony. And then you said intimidation. Intimidation, yes, as well. Twelve. <laughs> Yeah, the 12 is going to do it. I feel like he can get like, advantage on that. All right, man. Calm, That's calm down. And he, well, then, sure. Roll for it. Like, he is dangling over the fucking edge. <laughs> Whatever, it's still 12. said, I'm for eight. <laughs> he seems to be very calm. He, uh, he says, All right, all right. Just calm down and put me back. The lowest I'll go is 18 gold. 10. Three. Pray. Persuasion. Pray. Hang on, persuasion from the the bears chanting free or Alright, alright. I'll I'll show you to him. Pray. <laughs> Drops him off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, no. Okay, imagine I'm, imagine I'm just... make a strength check to pull back. I just bring him back. <laughs> and I kinda like I angrily toss him back in his chair. He is again laughing. <laughs> he finds this I'm, all very funny. I'm just gonna pick up the cap bar and put it in his lap. Meet Fred. And well, I won't eat this little buddy, and he he pets Fred. He eat, seems kind of that. nice. Cool. Fred's gonna bite his hand. I just go fine. Just meet us downstairs, and you better not be lying. All right, all right. And this is probably um, stupid. So I'm just curious what would happen. So I'm gonna roll it before I say what I'm gonna do because my dice are fucked. Right. Hey. So I'm just gonna like hop over the ledge and just land on. I the was first gonna say floor. the same thing, yeah. All right. <laughs> Bang. Can I just fucking backflip off the edge like he? <laughs> and just land with like a. <laughs> Cause I'm like 280 pounds. 
please, can I just like acrobatics check maybe? Backflip? You can all do a awesome. deck save. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing then. And acrobatics works as well. No, 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 no. deck save. No, 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 no. Alright. Does my 18 do it? Yeah, my team does it. Uh. Why is that? Now, how does falling damage work, Sparky? Uh, 1d6 per 10 feet. And how tall is it? Roll a d6. Awesome. Now you take the damage. Also, you went the wrong Worth direction. <laughs> oh. He Worth jumped it. out the window. <laughs> there was no window there. He just like, <laughs> through the fucking wall. <laughs> He just <laughs> fucking a crack in the wall, wall just jump, jump through. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Bro, meanwhile, Fred's just gonna waddle his way down. He also slowly Wait. walks down. I like to imagine that I just fall flat on my face when I jump. And I'm just staring at him as he walks across the balcony. I guess we should make this accurate. Hey, put ourselves like. He slowly I just realized this poor this guy button. has a seven foot tall fucking fireman just drop onto his table. <laughs> uh, just crush through. Hold on. <laughs> uh, what would you need to roll if to crush through that table? Uh, He's fucking like, fat. I'm almost work. 300 pounds. I mean, yeah, I'll just give it to you. You like you? He's just casually taking a sip and you crush through his fucking table. It's like, I only hit half the table, so it actually just, like, flips up. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, hits him in the head. I stepped back. Man, I you... I stepped Jesus. Back. Jesus Christ, you didn't need to do that. My bad. I thought I was, like, five more feet over, and I thought I was going to clear it. Bitch. Vihis, uh, the, the barkeeper, yells, Hey, can you please not go destroying my place? You already uh, lit my floor on fire. I am so sorry. I genuinely thought that I was, like, here. I thought I was going to land here, and my... my I don't have great depth perception, okay? I have stairs for a reason. Ooh, piano. Ugh, stairs are for normies. Play the piano. 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 Uh, you want to play the piano? Piano. Roll performance. I did. Oh, you did? Can I, like, dance along to the piano? Yeah, roll performance. One. Please be a one. Net 20. Net 20. I got 10. That's fine. So, uh, Pudsy, you, uh, you do a sick tune. Everyone, everyone likes it. Uh, My the people looking awesome. at your dancing look at this weird teddy bear and they're like what the hell is he doing i feel like they, they'd be impressed that a teddy bear is dancing i just imagine they're yeah. like he's playing classical music and you're over here doing like an irish jig yeah i um, know I'm, I'm like i'm fucking break dancing i'm here break night, dancing like... to ode to joy and uh one of the patreons says uh oh that's a sick tune i'm here all night guys i'm here all night pudsy pudsy Probably no not. you're not here all night we got things yes, to do oh what a shame we don't need Pudsy. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear you play the piano, Donald. But they likes it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more before we go. One more. Hey, Vigil, we found the guy. One more before we go. Oh, sick. <clears throat> well, he's claiming Some... he's not the guy, but I think he is the guy. I mean, okay, I I could always just try to see if he's telling the truth or not. I should probably start moving my. Why did none of us here. roll insight? I rolled it as a performance. Caveman, you can still roll insight if you want to my now. Guy, my guy has a base wisdom of ten, flat wisdom. Okay, hold up. I, I, could, I could roll insight. One sec, if you I'm want rolling. I, no, nah, I'm rolling insight. Hold up there. What's your wisdom at? Uh, it's at good. It's at good. But is it 17 21. good? Yeah, he seems to be telling the truth. Fuck. Wait, that's the rubber. So as we walk out the door, I just... I give him a big, hefty hand on the back. Mind you, it's pretty hot. And I just... 
All right, lead the way. Can I just scream at the dog? He's a tiefling, so he doesn't mind. Are you going already? Oh. As he uh, takes you around Olin, the town you are in, uh, he takes a, a long while before you arrive, like an hour later. I am keeping a sharp eye on him because I'm still suspicious. It's uh, now late at night, uh, but yeah, he tells you a bit about uh, the the person you are looking for. He tells him, yeah, he's an he's an orc, and uh, told me he stole the money. I I know that he did, and I'll uh, he's at the plaza right now. I think that's around where he is. So I'll take you there. Well, why would he tell you something like that? I think this is a trap. Insight. I... Insight. <laughs> you all. I think you already ruled an insight. Okay. I did, but I'm calling bullshit on that. But my character doesn't know. So... What do you mean? Nah, he honestly seems to be telling the truth. What to be like fifteen plus? You, you, you already. No, he said. Donald, you already rolled an insight. Like a t a twenty one. <laughs> Ah, I'm sure that's bullshit. He, he is telling the truth. This guy looks like anyway, that like tent town looks very flammable. What are you threatening this guy with? Oh, I'm just assuming he's constantly trying. Like, I just assume he's trying to cheat us, even though I don't know. But like, that's why I'm just constantly like, nah, he's trying to do some some tricks. He should. Yeah. Because it's literally my personality trait. I think everybody's trying to cheat me. I trust. I think I'm supposed to be like a very trusting person. Also, what is his class, if you don't mind me asking? Doesn't have a class. Doesn't have a character sheet. He's oh just, no! The, he but just I has the same as a as like one of the ruffians you fought. Like, but does he look like a warlock? <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Can we investigate his warlockness? <laughs> that sure would that be our color? no no that would still be insight and since you already rolled in well, 14 actually, insight if i was trying to see if he had magic it would be arcana oh then yeah. roll arcana <laughs> i still got a terrible roll <laughs> nope i rolled an 18 i rolled a 7 i rolled a 21 sure yes you did he's just a ruffian like one of the average blokes only is a little fancy and he has a lot of information. That's why All I was cool. I've fancy. only just noticed your background, Zs. He's fancy and has magic. No, he doesn't have magic. It's just a fancy magic. I don't care. He's a I mean, yes, of course he has his tiefling magic, but that's it. As like is the things you get as a tiefling. Alright, where is it? Where is this asshole? He should be around here somewhere. I'm gonna stay like. Hey, uh, can I do? Can I do a perception check to see if there's anyone like trying to fucking jump us? Uh, yeah, sure. And I was gonna say I'm gonna stay like five, maybe even ten feet behind him, just keep an eye on him. We're in danger. Seventeen. Where is that? Ah, there we go. Uh, around here? Yeah, no, you don't it's see him. Slow. It's it's late at night. All the what's it called? The tents and the. Stalls are empty. There's no one there. Everyone. Wait, you said it was late at night, right? Until yes. I so everyone's been... in their tents asleep. Huh? Everybody is asleep in their tents. Well, no, they're, they're like shops. No. They're like they're no, no bed. These are like uh, this is a marketplace. <laughs> huh. Cool. So, did anyone leave any of their stuff? In you are lawful good. No, they didn't leave I anything. never said I'm going to steal anything. I'm just curious. It's cool. just... The, it's the empty, empty Don't market ask that place. Kind of question unless you're trying to steal shit. I take the tent. I, it's... No, they're way too big for you. Hey, I'm, I'm a... I'm a... I take the I'm entire shop. You're a foot tall. No, I'm not. You're three foot tall, then. Yeah. I'm a big-ass bear. Nope. Well, fairly. You're not even the size of my leg. Hey, I'm, 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 it's summon, okay? 
So he walks over and he I'm takes a look around as a uh... hold on. Where's Vigil? Shout out. Oh, right. somewhere. Oh, I, I don't think I loaded in your token. You can drag in your own token. You know that, right? He I didn't, didn't follow that, us. Obviously. He's still at the bar. Yeah. Uh, For you me, should... there's two sets of grids. Oh, Go to the, like the newspaper at the top. Yeah, I couldn't get it lined up because it doesn't line up. At the he top right, right you see a newspaper. Click that and drag in your token. I already did it. My token's here. Oh, it's there. There we go. Oh, Who was that? I did it. As uh, <gasps> four rats just crawl out of the fountain. Fred, fuck them up! And these are not just any rats. These are giant rats. Fred, uh, they, hide. they look at you. And uh, they uh, are coming towards you. <laughs> uh, roll for initiative. What do I get? Okay. Awesome. Does it re-roll the initiative when you guys roll it? Nice. Yeah, it Great. Does. Yeah, I'm fucking taking that. Trade. I think my yeah. rage made my rolls better. Oh, it yeah. <laughs> looks like it, yeah. I think it holds on to the last roll you rolled and just. No, I've reset the page three area. times before. Oh, wow. Me screaming at D&D Beyond worked. Okay, how. I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, go cuddle fuck. How'd you roll a three? Hell if I know. It's just my luck today, I guess. I rolled a two plus a one. No, it's fucking Sparky's luck today. Thanks, Sparky. Nah, dude, I rolled four nat ones. You're good. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, yo, I'm Connor talking. Be typing I up. literally just did a one in two point six million chance. Seems legit. Wh which is less likely? Me getting the six crits, uh, four of them being actual 20s, or you getting the, um, what's it called? Four ones. It's the same exact chance. Actually, no, four my chance is higher. Yeah. Because there's only four. Your chance was lower because yeah. there's six. So basically, when I'm here, odds can go fuck themselves. You can go fuck yes. Yourself. Okay. Because <laughs> you're a bad luck charm. <laughs> um, you gotta do the turn order correctly. Uh, what, what's wrong with it? It's not in descending order. Oh wait, I click descending. There we go. Yeah. Go ahead, Donald. All right. Well, um. Sorry, I'm not sure if I have enough movement. Let me just... Barely. So I'm gonna run up to this guy over here. And attempt to fucking skewer him. He just ruined my plans. Oh, fuck. Are you gonna burn me now? I am not now. You're in the way. I won't hurt my friends. Ah, no. I'm, I'm sure I'll live. It's okay. I have gun. <laughs> I got bang. Um... So that's a nat one. Oh, final. Um, Where? Is the I think the rolls is, coming okay. Right yeah, yeah, they are, are coming through as quickly as they should. So I, I hit one with a. I, I got one twelve and one with a nat one. Critical fumble. Critical fumble. Oops. All right, you want me to roll the twenty sided dice? No, I, hold on. Roll one d twenty. Yeah. A 17. If you could handle that, that would be nice, Sparky. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. You rolled a 17? Yeah. You are frightened. Okay. On your next turn, you can attempt a DC wisdom saving throw to cure this ailment. Other than that, you gotta move 30 feet away from the target. Is that on his turn now as well, or...? Uh, he needs to move as far away from the target as, as his movement will allow him. Oh, good fuck. I was here, 20. So you're still a... all right. Let me move forty feet, I guess. <laughs> Just away from them, and you will take an opportunity attack from to them. To a minimum then. of thirty feet. Sorry, what's going on? I'm scared of rats. Out. He's scared of the rats. Yeah. Uh, you will take an opportunity attack. So. 
Will I? No, you will try the opportunity. <laughs> no, um, you will take the opportunity I... attack. If it will hit, that's the question. No, that's right. Well, did, did the 12 hit? Because I did roll the 12 first. Huh? Did the 12, did, did hit, the 12 the hit? Oh, yeah, the 12 hit. Uh, yeah, I'll roll damage then real quick. So roll the damage. He, like, stabbed the rat and screamed and ran away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And which I one was that really which you hit? The, the middle right one? Cool, so this I did one? 10 damage. Uh, yeah, the one that's gonna go first. Okay. And mind you, I do, I do still have Fred. So Fred, using his how much fucking speed? 30. There it is. He's gonna go to the same fucking spot that I did. It's so weird that some of the squares are lined up and then some of them just aren't. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah. It physically hurts. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna bite him. Y what? He's gonna bite. The oh, rat. I'm gonna bite the rat. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Nope. No, you're not. Uh, does a eight hit? Nope. Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> yeah, hold up. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any creatures with AC less than a 10. Did you get a base 10? Uh, no, I think a base AC of 10. Like, that's flat. Yeah, that, that's what I say. You get a base AC of 10, and yeah. then... All your uh, so two things. One, uh, roll to hit me with the opportunity attack, and then uh, roll to hit me with another one. What? Opportunity roll for attack. two opportunity attacks. Not and I two? Know what. Well, the yeah, one because one from one for me, one for Fred. Yeah, the, the the one you already got, that's the five piercing damage. Oh, and I didn't that. that the, cause that, if you scroll a bit. No, we can't see your rolls. Huh? We Hold don't, on. We do not see your rolls. Oh, uh, higher, I, I rolled a 21, so that's five piercing damage for you. And uh, does a 16 hit on the capybara? Fuck you. That was a question. That you know the answer, answer, though. No, I don't it's know a, the answer because I don't see animal. a capybara. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe it's very dexterous. Fuck off. Uh, yes, so you, you take five Fred. piercing damage and your capybara takes six piercing damage. So you never told us what his AC was. It's a 12. It's 12. Oh. And sorry, you said it takes six? Yeah, the capybara takes six, you take five piercing damage. Yolo. I'm gonna actually roll this capybara's health. What do you mean, roll the capybara's health? Just take the maximum health. He's dead. Just, it's like the the health that you have. 2d6, so he has 12 health. 14, because he, he has a plus two. Yes, so he has 14 health. Now, well, oh, listen, who was that? Uh, that would be Vigil. Oh, that was the. Oh yeah, I guess he has an actual name. Or his, uh, internet, probably. Is this the fun part of every D&D &D session where people why is slowly this... start to drop? I, why is it, why is he twice in the turn order? Did you roll again? What are you talking about? Uh, Vigil is in the turn order twice. No, oh, no, yeah, no, 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 my, my kind of, you know, shattered the... It's only there once. Uh, oh, for me, there is a six and a three for Vigil. I got three. Only then only three the six. Oh, then it was probably there from the last time. Yeah. All right. Okay. So did you take the damage? Yes. Yeah. For you? All right. Then now, this one will go. This one. Mm. <laughs> How much fucking movement? No, that's me. Uh, the... Okay. I was gonna now. say. They have, they, have, they have 30 feet of movement speed. They're not that. Sorry, I was measuring uh... things out. <laughs> yeah, I just see. Vigil, oh. <laughs> uh, like... this this rat comes towards you, and he's uh he's gonna bite you. I don't like rats. Uh, you don't you don't really get a choice. I don't like rats. Why the fuck is everybody measuring stuff? I have a plan and I'm next. Wait, everybody I'm else is just copying Wait. me. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, that doesn't hit. So the rat tries to bite you, but you can just about dodge out of the way. Yeah! Congratulations. <laughs> okay, please stop. I'm recording, and my recording can see all of this. Yeah, and I can also see all of this. If you want to measure stuff, just uh, hide your thing. Yeah. Just click hide from others. I was not hiding mine because it doesn't matter if I hide mine. It's going to show up yeah. anyway. No, uh, I mean for them. Uh, yeah. So, Ray, your turn. I need to re-measure. I'm going to move here. So I get a good shot. I don't want the disadvantage. So I'm going to aim at this rat. Sorry, visual. Mm -hmm. And seriously. Sadly, that does not hit. No. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to do? Alright. Okay, so this one has a 120 foot range. So it's 40 to 120. And I'm gonna use force. Does a 21 hit? Yes. Fucking hope so. Then I hit them with 14 force damage as my bonus action. And, and that's which? Which one? My force ballist? Oh, um, let me make sure how this works real quick. Uh, attack range spell, attack inflicting 2d8 force damage and pushing a target creature up to 5 feet away from the cannon. Cannon can walk. Okay, so I'm going to push this one 5 feet back and hit him with 14 damage. And how does oh, that I'll look like? Put him here. Oh, where? Oh, there. All right. How does that look like? Because he, he dies. You, oh, how does it look like? So, out of my little flamethrower, which you guys have only seen as a flamethrower, a gust of wind of compressed air just shoots out, and it smacks directly into him, and he just pfft, turns into a bloody mist. Soup. Soup. I Good agree. soup. Good soup. Does that conclude your turn? Uh, I do have five more feet. So I guess that five feet right. forward. Now this I'm round will go. Hello, sweaty. And Vigil, he will move over to you. And Why the uh, fuck are the rats trying to hit me? Because you are in the way. You are the closest. You're the thickest, boy. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right. I want to fucking stop uh, these rats. Um, uh, this rat gets advantage and this has pack tactics. Um, does a nat 20 hit? What the fuck? That is uh, six piercing damage for you. Fucking a rat does six damage. Yep, that's a fuck ton. A giant rat. <laughs> don't matter. A rat's a rat. Big rat, small rat. Don't matter. It's a rat. Fucking hate rats. Goddamn rats. Big dick, small dick. Don't matter. Find a day. No. Fair enough. Is that a base <laughs> six roll? Was that a base six? America. America. Ample. Huh? Was that a base six? The damage, yeah, you got six was damage. Was it just six or was it three? It was three and I doubled it because okay. it's a crit. <laughs> That's why I was asking, because if it was six, it was 12 damage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Because we, we don't use the crit system how d, &D I just yeah. double the damage, the I original asked. damage. Okay.
Uh, that concludes the rat's turn. Oh wait, why does it say ba we're back at you, Ray? No, it's Pudsy's turn. But why does it say we're back at you? Oh wait, I think everyone is at it twice. So that's just you. That's Pudsy, Donald. Who? So now it shows Pudsy for you. Yes. Hold yeah. on, let me go back because I have to remove some of these. Because for me, it shows everyone double. Uh, so then, then this one was, then now Pudsy, then this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work. Okay, there we go, I have it set up now, yeah. Pudsy, what would you like to do? I'm, I'm gonna try and zigzag up here. Oh, okay. you can just pass through the capybara space. Oh, okay. I'm Excuse me, what if Fred doesn't want him to? Yeah, that... Is Fred considered an enemy to him? Depends. What What do you think of Fred, bud? That's all right. You You are yeah, the same party. No, you can pass know. through Fred. That's all good. Yeah. yeah it's cool. Well, not through him, through his space. Yes. Pass you, through Fred. You he eats go you. He's got his digestive right. system. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish to shank this uh, rat here. I cannot ping it. Yes, I can. Oh, all right. Wait. Do um, daggers count as double weapon fighting? Yes. Or... Uh, yes. My bad. Anything you can wield in two hands counts as a two-handed weapon. Or two-hand fighting. Oh, okay. Uh, you- oh, you- Time for a quest. Anything that- Oh, jeez! Separate hands. Um... Yeah. Okay. How would you like to, uh, slice up this rat? Okay, so... Uh, can I put one- Dagger through the side of his head and one through the top, creating like a cross through his skull. No? So, yes, yeah, yes, yes. You, you, you tell me how you want to do this. Yes. Just like that then, please. Alright. As you just see this rat corpse fall to the ground after you just basically stab it through its head. Yeah, fuck rats. All my homies hate rats. <laughs> All the homies hate rats. Great to see you, Uh... Would you like to do anything else? Uh, I can't. <laughs> All right. Actually, you okay. can move. I can dash. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can. Oh, you can okay. use the rest of your movement, which is like ten feet. Yeah. Oh, it says. For, a bo uh, for him, it's a bonus action. But you just use your bonus action oh, yeah, to stab hand, the rat. Right, my bad. Oh, yeah, like you, you get one. Of course, you get one attack, and then second, two hand fighting, two weapon fighting, as you use your bonus action to make another attack. You still have twenty foot of movement speed. No, he still has ten because he has only twenty feet of speed. What? Yep. I'm slow as balls. Do you want to move anywhere? All right. This rat comes running for you. And uh, he's gonna bite you. Is he? Yeah. Is he? That is uh, six piercing damage for you. What? What? What did he roll? Uh, well, it hit because you have a sixteen AC and he rolled a twenty. Oh. <laughs> we don't see your rolls. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Yeah, you don't yeah, have to hit, but at least just say the number. Oh yeah, sorry. No, I assume you can see my rolls, but somehow it doesn't. I don't know how it does it. GM We're rolling. here, out of fucking nowhere. No, but I don't have GM rolling turned on, so that's weird. It just automatically does it. So yeah, you rolled a, I rolled a 20, so that that's 6 piercing damage. Lies. Uh, no. Clearly he's not rolling, he's just saying random numbers because he wants to kill us. Exactly. <laughs> you have to be able to touch us to kill us. Vigil, your uh, turn. Uh, do I still have Frightened if the... Yeah, I guess I would. That's yeah, right. Uh, if you roll a Wisdom safe next turn. No, the creature, or... The creature that yeah, that's what I Oh, it died. Dead. Yeah. Oh, then you're not Frightened anymore. Uh, Vigil, it's your turn. 
Who's watching TikTok? I know, seriously. Yeah, Z. Z. Uh, oh, I was not paying attention. Yeah, what so fucking you ever? Fucking phone. You were... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, it's boring waiting. No. my biggest pet peeve. If you're not going to play D&D, like, you need to be in D&D. None of the other one of us um, are doing anything. It's kind of rude. Well, I was just waiting. That was my bad then. I mean, I'm doing something else, but I am also still paying enough attention. I know what's going on fully. Yeah, usually when I'm waiting, I just use a fidget toy, but I'm still, like, paying attention. <laughs> I have like a lot of experience with D&D where my players did that and I literally told them hey either you're gonna play or you're just not gonna be in our group <laughs> I guess I'll just use my axe on the rat to my right now your paladin please go check if you have smite the divine uh, smite uh, Oh. Uh, divine smite. Where'd that be? Uh, uh, feats and traits. If you do... Oh shit! Yeah, should I do that? Uh, bonus actions. No. Weird. Hold on. I got two fighting. I got two weapon fightings and my sanctuary and shield of faith. I can use. Okay. I'm gonna look at your character really quick. But, yeah, okay. Go ahead. You can do your move. Um. Okay. Well then, would I roll for damage or? You just roll to hit. Okay. Uh, that's so weird. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, you do. You do have Divine Smite. It's just not an action. When you hit with a melee attack, you can expend one spell slot to deal 2d8 extra radiant damage. That's what it was. Radi like radius damage? Radiant. 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 Yes. radiant. What does radiant do? Like it, it's more it's a special type of dead. damage. Oh. It's usually, but it, it it just does normal damage, but undead are. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I just I didn't know if you had it or not. It's just like a free you can, extra two d eight damage. Oh, is that I'm just sick. a what? What does that do? What does that cost? A uh, spell slot. One spell slot. Oh well, you can use it if you want to. Okay, would I just roll to uh two d eight? Um, you can actually, we can just click on the spell. We can go, it's not a spell. If you go oh. to features and traits and you roll down to uh, class features and you scroll down a little bit, it's in the spell casting. It says divine smite. Class features. Um, fuck. Hold on, my brain go monkey. If you can do it, can you just do it for me? Because obviously my f fucking brain is actual not working straight. So that's an extra nine damage. Okay. Spell smart. And this is the one to your right. Yeah. Correct. All right. Uh, yeah. You smack him to the face as this uh. Rat dies by the of your hand axe. What was that noise? That was me wooing. Victory uh, noise. Woo. But it literally made my fucking desktop audio uh, max out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like my audio drives would fail for a second. I just like... never seen it max out. It literally just went all the way into the red. Can you do anything else? Or do you want to do anything else? I'm sorry for whoever watches this VOD afterwards and gets to that point because it's just going to blow the speakers out. <laughs> and explode! Would you like to do anything else, uh, Vigil? Divine Smite doesn't cast as an action, so you can do a bonus action. Yeah. It's a bonus action. Wait, so was the Divine Smite now the damage, or the Hand Axe, or both? Both. Both, right? Yeah, okay, then it dies, yeah. So. You wanna do, well. wanna um, do anything else? I mean... I don't wanna do anything. You like oh, him quite much. Right. Yeah. He said, I don't wanna do anything. Alright. Uh, Donald! Yes, dear. What would you like to do? And don't call me dear. 
You're no longer a feared. Awesome. There I'm still is a rat. Though. Angrily sprint towards this rat. Take both my swords once again. Actually. You know, upon second thought. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's funny. What? All right. I have spells. <laughs> Bruh. That's too late now. I mean, if the rat still survives after this, you can use them. It will. I'm going to cast Feet with Animals. All right. I'm going to look at him and it's like, hey, I'm trying to help you here. Don't fight us. Just for your own safety and theirs, let's stop this. And theirs are gone. <laughs> I'm referring to you guys. <laughs> oh, my safety's in no trouble. <laughs> yeah, but obviously, but you know the rat. This rat is taller than you, right? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, so me eat. Fucking break my goddamn neck to look at him. You don't have to. You don't have bones. You don't have to worry about breaking your neck. Yeah. Just have to worry about better stuffing coming out. Yeah. Seems ripping. Mm. Yeah. Just basically, I'm gonna say, hey, let's stop fighting. Me bite you. You know, bite me. <laughs> me will bite you. Okay. You bite me, they slice you. Accurate. Or should I say, that your food? or should I say, Accurat? Get Die. it? Because he's a rat? Die. Yeah. Ha, oh, very funny. Uh, is that your turn? I thought so too. Here we go, split my feet. Um... Hmm. Oh, Indian people go crazy. What? People. I just watched some Indian guy, like, Twirl a knife around yeah, his fingers. That's it. Again, I think it's bad how like attention? just internal racism of where I live made me think of that as like the natives to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. It's very not a good thing. Very not a good thing. <laughs> like just straight up racism, actually. I think. Um, Oh, shit, it's uh, Donald, does that conclude your turn, or yeah, do you yeah, want to do yeah, anything yeah. else? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm getting quite hungry. Ray! Your sorry. turn. I have to go back to my page. Um, All right. How far is he? You can measure. He's 25 feet away from you. That's 25 feet. That, that was 25 feet. That must be at least 5. And now he is 15 feet away from you. Yep, that was the goal. What the fuck? Oh wait, that was damage, sorry. I'm an idiot. I, I, I saw a D8 and thought it was a D20 and was like, Bitch, how? <laughs> and that is a uh, lightning lure. Yeah, what does that do? Unfortunately, guys, I have to go. I have work in like 30 minutes. Oh, boy. Um, he needs Adios. to make a strength saving throw or be pulled. He rolled a zero. zero. He rolled a zero. Yeah. So he is pulled 10 right, feet directly please. to me and takes that much damage. He is now Again, Donald. right in front of you. And he takes five lightning damage if he's five feet if he's within five feet of my person, which he is. All right. Yeah. Now. Do you do anything um, else? Let me double check. That was a bonus, or no, that was an action. So. And then just to be a dick. 
I'm gonna Eldritch Cannon Force Ballista. Right up in his face? He, he dead. He dead. He so, dead. I literally whip him with a lightning lure, drag him towards me, and then with the other hand, do like the lightning, uh, do the force ballista, and as he's being dragged towards me, taking the lightning damage, he just splats into the ground. Alright. Powder. Yeah, he dead. Very much. I would hope so. Nah, he survives. He's a big, strong rat man. Alpha rat. And I immediately look at the tiefling and go, First off, you're fucking useless in battle. Secondly, you let us here on purpose. Wait, why did you not what? give him a turn? Because he doesn't want to fight. <laughs> He's not a fighter. <laughs> I love the thought of him just standing there and watching me as I got scared off. <laughs> you gotta be cheating us in some way. You definitely let us here on purpose. No, I, I, I didn't... Get these rats here. It must have been someone else. Only the rat leads the rat like the blind leads the blind. I'm not a rat. You may not As you a, see. You may not be an actual rat, but you ratted out the you guy smell who smell like one. But nonetheless, continue leading us. Yeah. As you see. A hooded figure walk through here. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he, he steps just, out, just trigger finger. He passes by. Um, how far away? But it, you can, can can you see his token? Uh okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's where it is. Awesome. Thorn whip. You what? Thorn whip. You are lawful good. Weren't you? And? We just finished a fight. I'm assuming he's going to fight us. No, you can see the initiative order is gone. And this is just a hooded figure. Yes, team. my character can see the initiative order is gone. Roleplay. It's, it's just wrong. a random hooded figure. Walk one. He's we just wrong. finished a fight. He's on edge. Right. Yeah, like, I'm gonna assume... I also want to point out, I instinctively distrust other people. Alright. So... There's a 19 hit. Well, let me check. Quickly makes the character sheet. Yes, that hits. Awesome, I'm gonna put uh, the 10 cleat... 10, 10 cleat, 10 feet closer to me. So basically right there. <laughs> Great. And I'm just, like, holding my musket pointed in his direction. And he all... Because I guess I should probably do damage and shit. He takes six damage. And he is now right next to you. Can you ping the location where he is? Like here? Uh, yeah, right there. Alright. And he takes how much damage? Six. 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 I'm just saying it says something that you had a sheet ready, which you can't take... Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. What are you trying to do? Who are you? What color is your blood? What? And I'm, just standing, <laughs> I'm standing back here with my musket. He asked you, what color is your blood? My blood, it's purple. <gasps> well, and the yeah. name's and the name's Brass. We got a problem I with you. Tell. I'm gonna lose Look, his I know, I know why you're here. Okay, you're here because of the money. No, we're here for the truffles. Truffles? Yeah, Stop being sarcastic. He knows we're here for the money. Yeah. We want the truffle oil. Look, I'll explain it all to you. Okay, I, I'll explain why I took it, and you know. I'm not letting my gun down, but I'm still walking up, just pointing right. at him. Look, I. I come from an orphanage. There are a couple hundred children. I'll, I'll show it to you. And he takes you to the orphanage. I don't have a thing for it now. It's not hard to find an orphanage, man. Oh, well. Well, we need to uh, this is the or orphanage. <laughs> Top building. So he walks you to the orphanage. 
not too far away from home, are you? I'm still holding the gun. Get off the line. Look, this is this is where I grew up. This is I. That has these people. To do with from a sick kid. You can look at the building, and it's all wretched. The windows are either broken or like there was like one or two boards in front of it. It's not very well. Uh, there you can see he opens the door, and there are a couple of like a lot of small children in there with like wretched clothes and things. Broke people. Yeah. These these kids would die without the money. I, I took well, it to I guess save these them. Kids gonna die. Well, I don't care if you took it to save these kids because you stole it from somebody who needed even more help. These people have more than they could need right now. Look, I will give you 100 gold back. No, I and I'll keep the other... I cut him Look, off. I'll, I'll keep the 450 gold... And you can keep this 100 gold and give it well, back to the owner. Well, he made the, the fucking mistake of telling us how much it is. I'm gonna attack him. I mean... You're not, you're not even gonna let him finish? Fuck no, he just told us how much gold he stole. <laughs> hundred. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna stab his fucking legs out. Set up turn order. You're not even over here. Yeah, you're. He, from there, he can't even hear you. What the fuck are you Wait. doing? To be completely honest, I didn't even have the page up. Nah, 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 nah. That's your turn. Actually, if we're going off based off that was my turn, I was what here. Yeah, so that's your movement speed. And first of all, you have to no. click your token before you roll initiative. say I wasn't trying to fight him, I was just... He wasn't trying to fight either. <laughs> okay, well, when I hear, I'll give you a hundred of the 450. Well, you wouldn't have heard that because you weren't near us anyway. Yeah. I find him. I was dealing Some with it. Him. I wasn't gonna let him do that oh. anyway. There's no way in hell I'm leaving without all of that money. Look. These kids really need it. Otherwise, they're all gonna end up on the street and die. Well, you seem I know like a big tough too. man. Then you go oh, wow. and you do some adventuring and you earn the money yourself. You don't steal it from sick people. Look, I can give you this hundred gold, and I can you can leave me alone, or you can, or you can take the four hundred and fifty from me. But you're gonna have to fight me for it, because I'm not gonna let these kids die. What don't you understand about being an adventurer? What part of we've already killed so many people today doesn't get? <laughs> Adventurers can make money. Adventurers can give their money to orphanages. Get out there and work for that money. Stop stealing it from people. I just love that thought. It's like, or you can take it from me. It's like, don't worry, that hasn't stopped us before. <laughs> and honestly, I will be honest with you. I almost burned down a tavern today. I'm not trying to burn down this orphanage, too. I play the piano. Oh. And I'm gonna intimidate him. Can I get an advantage for saying I'm gonna burn down his home? <laughs> sure. Orphanage, not home. Orphanage, yes. Well, it would have been his home as a child. Yeah, so it is his home. Uh, hey, is there you anyone else who need... Oh, no, you need no need to roll for that. Can't be Laura at the same. There we go. Uh... Yeah, he's he's still gonna fight you. He's like, I won't, I won't let these kids die. You're an absolute moron. Cause now the kids and you are gonna die. You can fight me, but don't burn down this orphanage. You just hear me uh, chanting in the back, murder, murder, murder. You are literally That's lawful great. good. What is wrong with you? That's uh, simply put, I made it lawful good because he wouldn't let me. Yes, but the it reason behind be, the reason be why you can't play an evil character is because you're gonna have to like actually participate in this campaign. It's not like you get oh a lawful good character and then still play as a dick. Literally, your character is just contradicting everything uh, that your alignment says. 
you could have just been chaotic neutral like myself. Fuck, I'll come in changing the alignment after this because I don't like making lawful characters. Well, like, you could have literally just made a chaotic neutral. I'm still doing the good thing, but I'm not afraid yeah. to burn people down. But. Doesn't he have to roll inside against me or some shit? With a 16 intimidation. <laughs> Let me find. In inside is from intelligence or wisdom? Wisdom. Because if he's if he's smart enough, he would know his death isn't gonna cause any of those orphans to have a better life. Because I'm gonna take the money, and he's gonna die. And therefore, if they're sick orphans, they're also gonna die on their own. Yes, it's, that's why he's trying to defend these children. He is trying to, like, what he's trying to do is make you, like, go away, but he's gonna stand down and make sure this money oh, stays to the children. Oh, I know what he's children. trying to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying so, is, he, doesn't want... he could just go out and earn his own money, and then give his own money to the orphanage, instead of stealing it from somebody who's already sick. Put it into perspective, that money's not gonna last very long, and how many children will it actually pay for? <laughs> Did anyone hear that? I heard everything. Oh, I'll be quiet. He said... Huh? He literally said... I'm sorry, I didn't hear it, of, yeah. He said, think about it in the bigger perspective. How much? How long is that 450 really gonna last when it needs to go to sick people? When that well, 450 is already going to a sick child? Well... If these orphans don't get any food now, they will die in a couple of days. Yeah. That's not enough time for me to have like a whole adventure and go out of town. Oh, the, oh, these oh, kids oh, really oh. need the money. I clear dungeons in less than an hour. You just gotta I'm walk sorry. up, stomp on some goblins and take their shit. And someone, still, someone needs to stay here and take care of them. We could do it. Yeah, we take great we trust in with children. He, he can yeah. literally not hear you, Laura, across the fucking street. Oh, that's what me Doug and Carrie were just, like, saying. Well, there's gotta be a local church or something around here. I'll find a nun. There's gotta be a better one. Does that help? They'll watch the kids till you get back. And also, just ask the church. They feed people all the time. I've seen it happen. Actually... You can either... I used to be poor. You can either fight me for the money, or leave with the hundred gold. Or we can steal it. That you can steal it, but you're gonna have to go through him. Well, I guess the orphanage is burning down. You cannot yeah. move. This is initiative. <laughs> it's not your turn. I'm first. Yeah, yeah, no, but I was talking to Connor. Oh, I was like, I am literally first. And, and you already used your... You have a bonus action left. Who? You. You used your action to intimidate him. That was out of combat. It's not my fault he started the fucking shit that he took back. All right. I told you, I wasn't fighting yet. I wasn't ready for initiative. All right, then. Then what would you like to do? There, by the way, if you were planning down to burn down the orphanage, there are like, <laughs> like a dozen kids in there at least. I'm chaotic neutral. I have no bonds. I'm so going, you're. Going, I don't think that'll stop. So you burn down an orphanage with kids still inside? It would just change yeah. my. It would change my alignment to evil. Why is scary? My chains right, are held so by no one. What would you like to do? Well, I'm gonna shoot him in the chest. Try. That's fine. You miss. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> then he needs to give me a dexterity save. 
Oh no. Dun, 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 dun. Also, you, might have, um, you need to move a your seven. back. Because you can't move yet. No, Connor was standing there the whole time, right? Or yeah, he was I've been there here. the whole time. You were literally back here. Oh no, yeah, for me, he is there. Before combat. Hold on, does it show for you now? This is where he was, and then all of a sudden it was like up here. Yeah, but he, he went back. I, I, I don't know if it- does it show on your screen? It just did, it just updated. You'll see it oh, in the VOD okay. what it looked like for me. Oh, that's weird. I've been here the whole time. That was weird. You were just like stuck yeah. in the top of the screen. He rolled a 7. So he takes 10 fire damage and everything behind it catches fire. Wait, is that the thing where it goes in the whole 15 feet cube as well, or behind them? It's a cone, but I can't drive- I can't really draw a cone freehand. Hold well, on. to be fair, I mean, it would probably end up going more- That's like all, it's alright, you don't have to- Just the orphanage is now on fire. Oh well. At it's least the fair. front door. Bum, baby, bum. And I just say, I fucking warned you. And then... You didn't have to burn down the fucking orphanage. You could have just fought me for the money. I am fighting you for the money. My abilities just happen to set things on fire. So you murdered innocent little kids. Yes. Well, we could have avoided this. I asked you. Not as if and I'm just going to stand my ground. Left. Now it is his turn then. Um, he does a multi attack, which. I'm literally a walking fireball. Oh. He really didn't expect me to set this shit on fire. It's not that he didn't, it's that Ample didn't. What? That's what he would have done. <laughs> It almost, it honestly does sound almost like Ample you did not expect you to, uh, or Ample you did not expect him to light the fucking orphanage on fire. What? It sounds like you didn't expect me to light the orphanage on fire. No! He didn't expect you to light the orphanage on fire. I like he... to light things on fire. <laughs> he doesn't know that, he just met you. I told him I, I was gonna set it on fire. Yeah, should have trusted him, I guess. Look, I may be a bit insane, but I'm not a liar. Ain't no bug. So he makes a wrestle attack. Wait. That is a 13. No. Doesn't hit it. And then two punch attacks, which... That is a 18 and a 20. So it's an eight. Uh, I think it's four, so that is... I might be down. That is a six... And a seven bludgeoning damage. So a total of 13. Yeah, I'm exactly down. Oh. Because you didn't let us heal before. You weren't supposed to be healed. Well, you shouldn't have attacked us with a fucking tavern, people. That would have been terrified of me. Oh, no, th that's literally what the Avenger read. If you bother them, they will attack you. Dude, I've just realized none of us can heal. Well, you had a healer, but he left. Yeah.
We've got to hope the capybara got some magic powers or something. Fuck. What did I just come back to? We better hope the capybara got magic powers. I'm dead. Uh, Pudsy, your turn. Well, <clears throat> dual weapon fighting, I guess, attack with two daggers again. Also, this already isn't fair because we're down a player. Do you need someone to come and join you? I don't think either of those have. Sure. I have Vigil's character sheet. I can just play as him. Yeah. Or no, I, I think Spectre wants to. Uh... Yeah. Back to you on the new Vigil. Do you have a laptop? <laughs> yes. Alright. Alright. I have it with well, me. it doesn't matter. I'm knocked out anyway. I should just play as his character. Uh, how about Spark or Specti? Specti. Specti. How about Specter plays as uh, my character for a bit? Cause I gotta go. Oh, all right. And then Sparky, you play as Vigil if that's all right. Yeah. But I mean, it's your choice. Yeah. Whichever would like to. Thank you for the character shade. I'm just yeah. saying, a 16 should have intimidated him. But... I'm not the DM, so... He rolled what? Hi. I have... I want to give Spectre the ability to control Donald Cuddlefuck. And his capybara. Yeah, yes, and Fred. <laughs> okay. I'd say he's still Fred. On a completely unrelated note, um, yeah, I'm gonna head out because I might be fired. Alright. Oh god, that sounds not good. I'm sorry, did he just say he's gonna get fired? Probably. Oh, what happened? Well, so then, hold on. I have to do the sending again, and then it's now. Vigil, it's your turn, then now, and then it's Pud Pudzi's turn was now. Or or how should we do this? Yeah, so what would be the... Uh, just do, Pud or just do Pudzi, whoever's turn it was before. Yeah. So, uh, Pudzi, what do you well, do? I'll just do his movement, because that's all he... That's... He needs to get over there anyway. All right. But that's just, that, that's just a dash action. What he did. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, that works perfectly. Then, then it's now Pudsy's turn. Awesome. Uh, what do you do? Shanky shanking. Roll for it. Yeah, that uh, that second one hits. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Why? I'm, I'm confused. Though. Why does it do the damage twice? Critical. No, no, no but I mean, like, it's you have like the dagger, and then you have uh, then it says piercing damage, sneak attack damage. Then it shows another piercing damage, sneak attack damage, and, and underneath that. It's just the yeah, and then underneath that. But it's not. Ah. Supposed, it's supposed to be twelve, and 16. ah. Ignore the four and three. It's twelve and sixteen. So he takes 12 damage, and then another 16 damage. Yes. Hold on, let me grab my calculator. <laughs> it's 28. If you don't... Yeah, I was about to say, if you don't know, that's 28. Uh... Uh, and he doesn't need it for how much 28 is. He needs it for how much yeah. damage... From what yeah. he is to what he is now. Uh, so, uh, does that conclude your turn? Can't do anything else, so yeah. Alright. Uh, Spectre, are you, have you everything set up? Um, I have everything. I just need to move, be able to move my token. Oh, uh, let me give you... Hold on. And I have... A little bit of a clue of what's happening. Good. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sparky, can you give her a briefing? 
This guy's an asshole. I mean, a real breathing. And you can move 60 feet. And uh, you also have uh, Fred. Just know he needs to die. Uh, well, he you... He needs to die? Yep. Hold on. No. Uh, Spectre, uh, what happened is, uh, you, uh, found this man, his name is Haran Lestrade. He, uh, has a sick daughter, uh, his money got stolen, she's in a clinic or in a hospital. And, uh, she has a weird sickness that can't be healed by any clerics or paladins. Uh, Haran sold everything he has and he works every single day as much as he can to make, to be able to afford for her to stay in the clinic to survive. Uh, his money got stolen, uh, which later on you found out. Uh, you went to a tavern, you beat up some people. You met a uh, tiefling, which you can see at the bottom left here, this guy. he uh, You paid him and uh, he led you to this guy. You fought some giant rats who came out of the well. Hold on. Wrong music. And basically, this guy pulled yeah. up and was like, oh, I stole the money for these orphans who are also sick. Yeah, and no, these orphans, aren't, these orphans aren't sick. They just they don't have sick. anything. Huh? He said that they were dying, basically. Yeah, they were dying because of hunger and shit. And he's shit. a bitch ass and wouldn't just go out and make his own money. Let, can I explain my own one shot, please? You asked me to explain. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's kind of accurate that you said it in Ray's words. Uh, and yeah, he, he said, like, you can have, like, uh, some of the gold, but I really need the rest for these orphans to pay them for food and clothes so they can survive. And uh, he said, or you can fight me and you can have, like, if you win, you can take the rest of the money, but I will not uh, just let you leave off with all the money because these orphans need it. Oh, I'm gonna make and, then Ray, and, and then Ray decided to... Uh, Set him on fire and uh, burn down the orphanage with about a dozen kids. What is my alignment? Uh, Awful good. No, so he's but, being changed yeah. to chaotic neutral because he doesn't want to be lawful good. Because he didn't know he could be chaotic neutral. So it's chaotic neutral. I told him everything but evil. So Okay. And he, and he assumed that meant good. Yeah. But he's been chaotic neutral since we started this session. Yeah. Oh. So basically, we just need to kill him. The slowest and painful death you can imagine. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Played out. Um. Wait, bonus. I, I do have to do weapon fighting. Yes. Does it work? Why doesn't it work? It did. Oh, no, it did. Oh, did I, did I just send it? Wait. Well, you have two weapons. So, it worked. Yeah. You sent in the Cthulhu. Don't know. That's my... It's confusing that there are two birds. Uh, birds. Bears. But, well, this is... Yeah, that's I'm you thinking. with, uh, yeah. Yeah. The right one is Connor's character. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, uh, he takes the damage, and he's like, all right, all right, Jesus Christ, you can have the money, if, please don't kill me, these, nope, these kids die. need me. He sits still down. He stands down, and he hands you the 550 gold, and he, he says, please, just keep me alive, I can at least save these children. They don't have to die because of this. I'm fucked up, Seymour. I forgot I was knocked out. Yep. I'm still talking. No, because I'm still talking in Ray's voice, not Vigil's. <laughs> and he hands you the money, uh, Donald. Oh me! I yes. cannot add it manually. Oh no, you don't have. Don't you don't have to sure. add it because. Oh well. Uh, you don't have to add it. Someone can add it later to their inventory. If it's Sparky, maybe you can add it to Ray's inventory for now. It's uh, 550 gold. 
I just imagine Donald grabs a bag of gold and just drops it on my dead body. Dumps it on your corpse. Like, here you go, wump. Yeah, but he says, at least keep me alive. I really need... At least maybe I can help these children. Don't you see what you did to my best friend? I'm just assuming me. I, did, I didn't mean to. He could have took take the money and walked away. Yeah, but you can't unburn down your orphanage. No, you can't unburn his orphanage, but he can take the children out of there. Too late. No. Is that the end of your turn, Spectre? Yes, I think so. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Ray, death saving throw. I gotta remember how to do that. Oh. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> At least it's the one. It's only one. And obviously, it's Vigil's turn. Mm hmm. So now it's Vigil. I have to see what his shit is, because I don't know. I haven't played with a paladin before. Not in a long time, at least. What an inspiration. Inspiration gives you advantage on uh, any ability or saving throw. Well, like saving throws, uh, ability checks, uh, attack rolls. I will. Oh, he's chaotic, good though. And he's a paladin, so we'll probably try to heal Ray up if, you know, since he's kind of dying on the floor. Ray's been close to death before. He'll be okay. I'm just trying to see. He'll be fine. Kills the orc. As the conscious. He's going to two weapon fighting hand axe this man. Mitt is both. The guy the guy who just uh tried to not to cause trouble in the tavern, tried to help you with these rats, is now gonna murder a man who just asked him to like at least let him be alive to save an, children in an orphanage that you burned down, Ray. He just laid out the only person that's been questing with him for a long time. But you said you abandoned him. No, I went on a quest on my own to find Zaddy. I think that hit. Well, one the second one misses. The, the second one. Long, long, bleh. a long sword is a two-handed weapon, right? No, it's versatile. Huh? Oh, I didn't know. That is. And hold on, let me find it. God, fucking Jesus Christ! Paladins. Paladins, man. Paladins. And he dies. 18 damage. He dies. He bleeds out. And his last words were, uh, didn't have to kill the orphans. I see that you tried to murder me for what I did. But you should have left them out of this. As he bleeds out on the floor. Awesome. And then, since it's, I'm assuming, out of combat? Yes. This is end of combat. Now he uses Lay on Hands. Can I loot his corpse? I was about to do that once Ray was He away. doesn't have anything on him. He already gave you the gold. Can I take his clothes? He... Can I take his clothes? No. Ray was healed for three. 
with lay on hands. They kind of like, Ugh. fuck. Thank you, Vigil. Oh, and I see you avenged me. Good man. And I just put my shoulder. I put my hand on his shoulder. And realizing this giant sack of gold sitting on my chest, I just kind of latch it to my hip, tie it around. Oh, he gave it to Donald. No, but Donald dropped it on my yeah, chest. I... Oh, oh, you dropped it. Okay. I couldn't add it, so I dropped it on his chest. Okay. And he just kind of... Ugh, ugh. Oh, we really need to get back and fix these wounds. And probably give this man his money back. Oh, yeah. Can I take the orc's finger? No, I was going to grab the no. orc by his ankle and just drag his body through the town all the way to Heron's house. What? what? No, I was just going to say, oh... Hey guy, here's a finger of the guy who stole your money. Nope, I'm gonna bring in his entire body. Aye. Oh. Was that was that Spectre? That Let's wait until she's back. I don't know. Or the uh, guys, yeah. But yeah, I just start dragging. I think she is. She just was that in that. Oh. This victorious music, as I'm like <laughs> limping through town, I'm just like, Ugh. Ugh. I can't drag him with me, but he is being dragged behind me. Second, let me find. I just pick up Donald and wear like a backpack. Can I do that? As you, oh, I'll bring you back to the, there we go. As you walk back to town, you drag his body through the streets. You arrive back at Heron's door. What do you do? I like weakly, like it takes pretty much all my strength to even lift up my arm and just on the door. And just... <sighs> As like you smoke is get... coming out of my mouth. You need me to get the door for you. Uh, so you knocked on the door. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. A second later, Haran opens the door. Oh, hello. Th are you all right? I kind of like you see fall pretty to my beat knees. up. I fall to my knees on his steps. I'm just like about to pass out, like barely keeping my eyes up. And I'm like, yes. we found him. And I hold up his leg. And oh, you didn't. It wasn't easy. Oh, you, you didn't have to bring his corpse, you know. Well, you need the show proof. Here. And I just drop the gold on the floor, like, and I fall asleep on his steps. Oh, Come he on. slowly picks you up. Or, like, he picks up the bag of gold and, like, puts it on his table. And he helps you up, tries to help you up. And sit you down on one of his chairs. Well, I asked to bring his finger, but... You brought his whole corpse! Well, yeah, but you wanted the whole corpse. I didn't want that. As, uh, yeah. So he sits you down on one of his... ...chairs, Ray. I, I presume you're still passed yeah. out. Yeah. Alright. Uh... I away. Do you guys need anything? Money. He hands you, of course, the gold he promised you. He gives you 100 gold as compensation. So At, at this you point, may... you just hear from my, what looks like a corpse, but it's just me. I'm just... <coughs> Money. <laughs> and I, like, Bye. slowly kind of come back to... And I'm like, yeah. Oh. Thank, thank you for. Oh, okay. Um. Oh God, this hurts. As I'm like feeling the cuts and like bruises on my body. So. Oh, he said. How? Is there anything else that we'd be able to help you with? I just. Oh, some shit I mean, is happening tonight. Yeah, I, I, I noticed. Uh, I don't really have anything else. You brought me the money, so 
my daughter, she will she will live. Um, I really hate to tell you this, but we might have caused a bigger issue. What did you do? Do you know that orphanage near the center of town? The, the orphans still live there? Uh, I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, let's just say it's abandoned now. What do you mean with that? Actually, it might not even be there by the morning. What happened? Yeah, this guy, he tried to fight us, so I set him on fire, but it overshot a little bit. And, uh, everything what burned. He, what he's trying to say is he burnt down the orphanage. No. Uh, you, you burnt down the orphanage? I, Luke, I wanted you to help me get my money, but... Setting an orphanage on fire was not the thing you had to do to- It wasn't part of the plan. I asked him not to, and he still tried to fight. What? Like, I'm do surprised need... this chair underneath me isn't on fire right now. Did, did you try to put out the flames, or like- It was raining, I figured it would happen eventually. And also, the flames were too spread out, we couldn't put them out by ourselves. And honestly, you see the state I'm in, I can barely even get him here. He fainted twice on the way here. He gets you, uh, he rummages around, and he gets you a potion of healing. And it's like, here, dr drink this, you'll feel a little better. It's... I pop the top off and chug the entire bottle. How much healing? Uh, just a normal healing potion. Just roll for it. Right, let me check what that is. Was it like 1d4 plus 4 or something? Or 1d4, or 2d4 plus 2, there we go. Nice, roll. Oh, thank you so much. That really did help. I, I want to thank you as well for saving my daughter. Of course. He was trying to say that those sick kids were more important than just one child, but it's still not right to steal from people. I may be a bit mad, but I'm not absolutely insane. He's still... he looks a bit, a bit in shock, because he now knows that, of course, his daughter got saved, but... He, al he also knows that he might be the cause of some orphans who died in a house fire. I... Can I do anything else for you? I... Just always remember, self-preservation is the most important. As I try to sit up and like stand up to my feet, I'm still kind of limping at this point, holding my sides. Kind of still got a few wounds over my body. And I go to, like, place one of my hands on his shoulder, and then I remember the heat radiating off my body, and I pull myself away. I just go, just make sure your daughter survives. We'll take care of the rest, and if anybody says anything about the orphanage and tries to come for you, just send them my way. It's hard to miss me. I'll be at the local right. tavern. Drinking away in summer is your future. All right, that that's very kind of you. He invites you to stay at his house. There is not much there, but as you you can as sleep as on the chair. As long as you have a, at least something I can lay my head on, that that would be very kind. He he makes his bed for for you, and he lets you sleep. It's a little small, of course, for you, but it works. I tell him that I don't want to burn his bed down, so I walk outside and I find the biggest stone that I can find. All right. And then I like bring it into the house, so at least I'm in doors and not in the <laughs> rain, and just lay my head on it. All right. If you guys need anything, just let me know. I'll try to help as much as I can. But Same yeah, to you, you can st you can stay the night here. And in the future, if you ever need anything, just call my name, and I'll come running. I'll let you guys know. And he goes to his bedroom. He puts 
the money into a savings box. He locks it with a new lock. And he goes to sleep. Is there anything else you guys still want to do? No. Uh, well, I suppose that's the end of the story then. The children in the orphanage, the ones who could escape, uh, didn't survive the winter. They died of hunger. And uh, the rest all got burnt down in the fire. Uh, there is nothing left but ash. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. The people in the morning, they find the dead rats. They're a little confused of what happened here since they saw the orphanage burnt down. And yeah, people didn't like that very much. Uh, you saved Zoe. But they don't know it was us. <laughs> they, you saved Zoe. Uh, yeah, she survived. She got her treatment, and now uh, Lestrade has worked up again, and eventually he gets a new house, and they live happily ever after. Uh, you also, which I didn't expect you to do, you saved the uh, laughter, or bandit, how you would like to call him, because if you left Brass alive, he would have murdered bandit. Because snitches, snitches get stitches. As tempting as it was to say at the very end, I want to go steal the money. <laughs> nah, nah, uh, 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 nah, too late. I asked you, did you want to do anything else? I Went know. to sleep. You were too late. <laughs> no, I know. As I said, as tempting as it was, I didn't say it. Uh, by the way, if you didn't give the money to Lestrade, you would have have to fight him as well. If you like, took the money for yourself. Well, I'm chaotic neutral. I wouldn't. My whole deal was saying that it was bad to steal from sick people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you burnt down an orphanage. Exactly. It I works. fucking hate you for that. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is gonna be a nice adventure with a strong moral dilemma. It fucking burns down the orphanage. Oh, and now my alignment has changed. Yeah, yeah. No, it was me it was meant to be. All like uh, it was. It was meant to be like a moral dilemma. Either keep it and everyone dies, like the orphans and Zoe, and yeah, uh, or you were meant to choose between them. Well, no. Now I'm and, saying the fact of yeah, yeah, yeah. is, I went from chaotic neutral to chaotic evil. Mm -hmm. And uh, you burning down the orphanage was something I didn't expect. Because it was meant to be like, aha, I'm, I'm going to make you feel bad now because you murdered orphans, but you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my character doesn't really care about people. They've noticed. As he said in the end, self-preservation is key. <laughs> that is true. And even then, I've risked my life for those people who I did care about. My party. My party. Yeah, that was the end of this. Adventure. E.